In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. To a show called Hate, a podcast in which we explore love, hate, and everything in between in search of greater meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Chris. Thank you. That's a lovely note you just wrote me. Oh, nice. What does it Thank say? It says, um, uh, Deek? Deek. Deek. Uh, Deek. I'm not familiar with the uh, pronunciation. Uh, uh, it's a short guttural word. Starts yeah. with a D, ends with a K. Ah, right. Uh, I'm no not sure. No, there's no yeah. way of knowing. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a little while. Well, it's I been feel... a while for the listener. Yes, yeah, sorry, listeners. Um, well, it's been two weeks for the listeners. That's normal. Yeah, but we we weren't in this room. Oh, they don't know that, I suppose. You've just ruined the, the illusion. Sorry, sorry. I think that the fans assume we're doing it at the top of our, our skyscraper that we have. Oh, yes, our big building. Yes. Yeah. In town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We go into town to record, yeah. Yeah. and then we get an elevator right to the top, yeah. and the top floor rotates, and yeah. that's where we record. Which, and yeah. it's a nightmare to audio balance. But it's awful, that, it's so awful. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't do any of the edit. Yeah. 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 It, so it's like a revolving restaurant at the top of the tower, yeah, but, but we're the, running a cable. Like, that's right, yeah. and it coils up <laughs> around the axle. It, come, it comes back to this room for no, no good reason. <laughs> but the top floor isn't circular, it's square. Yeah. So it goes off. So it's not even it makes, it makes just a hideous noise when it turns. Yeah, yeah. when the was on board, was like, we're going to have the world's first rotating tower. Wait, there's tons of rotating restaurants. What are you talking about? No, no. No, no, no square. Tower. Believe me, you've not seen anything yeah. like this. And you certainly haven't heard anything yeah. like this. Because it is, it is it's loud. So loud. <laughs> I mean, you can hear that chain. Every link on that chain, you can just yeah. hear. We go through podcast yeah. microphone cables. Yeah, like, like you wouldn't believe. Like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. We'll break three in the recording of this episode. I um uh I have eaten in a oh, revolving restaurant in my lifetime. Yes. Wow. Up uh, Toronto. That's, right. That's the famous one, yeah. right? Uh, wow. Yes, yes, CN wow. Tower. Yeah. Is is it is it fast? And I know probably the answer is no to that, but is it at a speed that is unnerving or makes you want to hurl a little bit? Is it like when you step into the room? Answer the my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, answer that. Okay. But it, also, is it like you step off of uh, like a still platform onto a revolving oh, bit? Like a y- old tower? Yes. So the hub in the middle still? Uh, one would hope. God, I hope so. <laughs> You've got to hope. Yeah. You? yeah. But I'm wondering, yeah, I was wondering if the whole dish revolved no i'm trying to the outside. i'm trying to remember mm. because like answer nick's so right, nick, <laughs> your question was is it fast or is, um, it, is it an unnerving speed no but it's also kind of like it's so gentle as to almost be what's the point unnoticeable yeah, yeah. right okay um, i would if anything i prefer it to go fast yeah because then you feel like i think that'd be very entertaining i think that would be very entertaining yeah. also and also we when we ate it was the evening so it's kind of dark. Right. So, yeah, you can see Can't the city, see like, lit up. But it's like, oh, there's a dot. That must be a building. I guess that dot's a oh, building. That's another building, yeah. yeah. But, no, the interesting thing was, because uh, obviously it's circular, because it's not as good as our tower. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is square. I mean, off square. I mean, yeah. we legally can't call it square. Yeah, cause it's... yeah because we don't own, own the title. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a cuboid. <laughs> but you, I'm at, if I remember correctly, you go up, you go up the central bit, the old mm. tower, oh, and sense. then you do step out, and the floor is moving... Like and it would be faster, you. closer to the middle. Yeah, I presume. Oh uh, well, yeah. Science. You're getting into that's, physics. That's stuff, the bit where I assume people like stumble, Whoa. Or fall over, <laughs> yeah, or whatever. That's got to be funny. But that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the best bit. But the thing is, I remember the waiters. So if you imagine, it's obviously a big, a big wheel which is turning. Sure. So we're on, we're on a sitting, a, a sitting around a circular table, oh, we are, which yeah. is ironic. Yeah. Right, yeah. So if you room. imagine, like the table was at the edge of the circle. Right, yes. and then the wind. So we were sitting there eating, and then we could look out the window. Sure. That's nice. And then, but it's this weird thing where. Are we're... there tables that are just before you finish that thought? So you got a table on the outside. Yeah. Are there any tables that are like inset? Yeah. Those are what? shit. Why, why yeah. bother? I could yeah. eat at ground level. Yeah. yeah. Much cheaper. I could do that at home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at home. Why bother? But interestingly, the windows. I know it's going to staff. The windows aren't moving. Jesus. So so the outermost windows aren't. Yes. And then you have an innermost layer, as it were, that turns past them. Yes. Past that still outside. So thing. the thing is, there's like a window sill. 
and like which which isn't moving. So you could put something on that, yes, and then leave it behind. Yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, basically, yeah. So you that could must, sort of, that must have happened. You could send a message to another table this way, like a romantic yeah. message. Oh, you could yeah. put a rose in a bottle, for yes. example, and write Ooh. and write mi amor or something. Yeah, nice. You know, something sexy like that. Yeah. And then you could put that on there and then just wait 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> yeah. It was very slow. Maybe more. <laughs> but then there's a bit of a lottery, like which one of the other guests yeah. picks it someone up. someone picks yeah. it up and it that's could, your It could be the person you're looking at or it could be just some massive dude. Yeah, it could be a massive dude who's like, a waiter. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. <laughs> you you made my day. You, you absolutely... <laughs> You absolutely made my day. Thanks so much. Here's my number. Which is nice to know that someone cares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. In this harsh, cold world of ours. If that's what you're into, that's fine. But I mean, just, you've, got to, you've got to make sure you hit your target. This character yeah. you've created, I'm actually quite into now. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, In I, my mind, he's, he's, he looks a bit like Kingpin. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I was picturing as well. <laughs> this this love struck large man yeah. who uh, yeah, came yeah, up yeah. the tower. Yeah. Wasn't looking for love. He was but, sat on no. his own at the table. The weird thing is he's with his wife. Yeah, yeah, just that is her. That is weird. For a rose. Ah, mia mor. Just went, it's a powerful just, phrase. Exactly, mia yeah, it just does it. What does it mean? My love, I think. Oh, <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> um, that makes sense. Or I love you. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. That would make sense. I don't know Arabic. So she's speak- all love. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, sending messages to people on other tables... Also, this is in Canada, by the way. Also, oh, went wow. to all of my bullshit today has inspired yeah, actual yeah, anecdotes. Yeah. This I know. Is good. Yeah. We should we should uh, record in this room more often. <laughs> uh, went to a restaurant uh, in Banff, I want to say. Ah, where Nightcrawler appears. Yeah, or or, or disappears. <laughs> you know. Well, I'm sorry, that's half glass half full kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <I'll be> uh, <laughs> which apparently was an old. It was a fond, it was a fondue restaurant. It's an it's an X Men joke. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, so, sorry. Nightcrawler was... is an X Men. An X-Men. Yes. Who, that was uncharitable of us. We should have. Uh, <laughs> who <laughs> teleports in a uh, puff of blue oh. smoke. And in the comics, the sound effect was bamf whenever he teleported. Bamf. Oh, I see. But it's actually a place. That must be a like a deliberate joke. I wonder. They must have heard of bamf before they wrote that. But he's meant to be German, isn't he? Yes. So Does bamf mean anything in German? There's a place. It means teleport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, yeah. yeah. It means away! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, so this restaurant apparently... It was uh, it, well. It was a fondue restaurant. Oh, oh or, or a fondue. Yeah. Was it fun? No. Uh, oh no. Sorry. No. Sorry. Right. No. It's fine. It's fine. That was yeah. the <laughs> we were right, the, right the first time. Uh, Apologies. And I'd <laughs> never, <laughs> I'd never had fondue before. I like never proper have. fondue, and I've never had it since. Proper fondue. Oh. What is proper fondue? Uh, Select it's it. a big bucket of cheese. Is it always cheese? A bucket of cheese. Uh, a boy- I'm already into it. <laughs> oh, no, literally, I thought it was melted cheese, but it's not just melted cheese. Oh, it's like you take a brick of cheese mm. or or a slab of slightly soft cheese, whatever you do. Yes, daddy. And wine. Oh, uh, and you a, dissolve in the a, cheese in, in a wine bowl Jesus in a boiling Christ. cauldron. Fuck. And then they, it's like you have multiple courses of so like first things co- to dip. Yeah, so first course is is some bread. So you just mm, get little okay. chunks of bread. Oh, that's not. Mm, but the that's cheese not. bucket remains the same. The cheese bucket remains the same. So tons of things. What you if you drop your bread? You just reach right in, don't you? <laughs> Into the boiling <laughs> cauldron. <first. laughs> don't, ah! <laughs> don't be weak, son. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the first course is bread. Yes. Dip in the cheese. And then I'm trying to remember, I think the second course was they actually brought out... Oh, yeah, this was... It was just a bucket of boiling oil. Like, just mm. just boiling oil. Mm. And then they give you, like, a, a, a plate of raw meats. Oh, and so... then you kind of, like, cook them yourself. And yes. then in the cheese. I think those. I think the cheese can stay out because mm. it's a lot of cheese. You don't want to throw that away. Oh, you can't be wasting that. Man. Can't no. be wasting that cheese. Yeah, no, boiling cheese. And then I think for pudding, they did replace the cheese with like a, a vat of chocolate, like boiling chocolate. Well, that's what I was going to ask. So yeah, is a fondue also chocolate? Chocolate fondue. I think the fondue ness is the fact that it's, it's deadly bucket. and it's boiling and it's <laughs> yeah, in a bucket. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. I accept that. So you could fondueize anything. In principle, yes. Like petrol. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Boil some petrol. I mean, boiling petrol sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think. What well, would you dip in your petrol, sir? <laughs> something that's on fire. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. What I mean. yeah, like a match or something. Yeah, yeah, put a match in there. Yeah, put a match I think in that'd there. That'd be fine. Have you now, Nick? You're like our resident French cuisine expert. Oh well, that's high praise for what I actually am. And J'adore la foot. Mi oh, we are fromage. Ah, we. Ah, we. la bibliothèque. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Ali's dad is is in France. What is the name? Oh, There's yeah. a. F- it's like it sounds like like Gillette, like the kind of razor. Oh, you're thinking yeah. of a body warmer. It's that cake. Gillette, no. Yes. What are you thinking of? Isn't that a cake? I'm not thinking of a cake. I know the word galette. Ah. What do you think it is? It's like a brick of cheese that you bring to the table under uh, like a little hot lamp. 
Oh fuck, I don't know what that is. That sounds amazing. Yeah, but it's literally they bring like a a a a, a um foundation stone of cheese. Like a loaf of cheese. Yeah, like a loaf of cheese. <laughs> yeah. And then they have like oh. a they have like a, a custom like three bar heater right. that is like just blasting it. So if you can imagine the top is always molten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the waiter mm. just goes, Sir as in like, would you like some? He goes, yes. And he basically just takes like a baguette and then just like slight, just scrapes this whole layer of melted cheese onto the I baguette. Think, I think what the word you're thinking of is raclette. Raclette! Yes! Raclette! Raclette! Yes! Yes, that's that. There we go. Yeah, because I've heard, yes. I know stuff. Oh, I'm surprised. Should have turned to Chris Ray. Really. I know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I look, I, here's me thinking, Nick, French, culture. Yeah. Culture. When I should be thinking of molten cheese. On bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. On bread. <laughs> You really, really yeah. outsourced to the wrong guy. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about that. Oh, tell me. Our neighbours invited us around for raclette a while ago. Really? Yeah. Here in Cool Town. In Cool Town, UK. Uh, wow. Yeah. And uh, they have the machinery and everything. They had. They didn't have the the loaf of cheese or anything, but they had. So it was like a almost like a noughts and crosses board. Right. Uh, and they had all individual frying pans that went round the outside of it. It was like a big square. Right, you're like a grid of pans, and you put what you like your cheese, your meats, whatever in there. And it cooks it on cook the... it on that. Yeah, and that is like a another form of raclette. And then so, what you dump it on a piece of bread, pretty much, or you put whatever you want in it. Oh. Yeah. So fuck. I wonder what raclette means. Yeah, then. is it just for molten cheese? Bit? Maybe. Wow. Maybe. Apparently, have it with. But the other one you're thinking of, we had at Glastonbury, because there was a big wheel of cheese, and they were doing exactly what oh, you just described. Oh right. So that's the first time I had it. I wow. can eat that now. And Which, I've had if my I'm dinner. honest, when I turned up at the neighbours, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And instead Weird they cheese. brought me a grid of frying pans. And that's, I thought, I thought, oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. That's not what yeah. I was expecting. Yeah. It was very nice, though. I'm sure it was. Yeah. yeah. The um, Don't ask me any other things, because that's the only thing I know. A few, there's this the one. End. The end. We're all sounding yeah. very cultured this yeah. episode, aren't we? Big well, time. sort of. Big time. I did one... write the word dick on a piece of paper at the start of the episode. Uh, <laughs> no, hang on, hang on. No, it's French. Oh, yeah. le dish, dish, yeah. which is French for dick, dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, in Cool Town, there's yeah, this UK. one. UK. There's this one. Uh, if you want to sound cultured, there's this one, um, uh, like cafe restaurant thing, which is like change changes ownership like every six months. Mm. It feels like like it's always something different, but there's always a cafe there. Interesting. Yeah, and is it's this the one by the pub. By no wait. Which, one. No. I'm thinking the one by the Weatherspoons. Used to be a burger place. No. It's a cafe, then a burger place, now I think it's a cafe again. Yeah, no, I'm thinking it's down by the theatre. Oh. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes, there's yes, a few yes. little places down there and it changes a lot. And like, you know, it used to be like, oh, you want like a, a coffee and a cake. Mm. It's a good place to pop in. Mm. So a couple of months ago, Lucy and I were walking along uh, and we were like, oh man, we should get some lunch. We're both yeah. a bit tired. Hey, how about we pop in here? And we popped in and clearly we were like, the first customers of the day. They couldn't believe I'll be like, oh, it's changed change ownership again. And yeah. they never change any of the decorations or anything. Like, no, it's you, always you just, got it. yeah. So we just come in and sit down and we're like, what is it? Cool, <laughs> look at the menu. And um, it's like, um, that's, uh, it's like, oh, look, um, they do. I, I think I said, oh, look, they do a fondue. We're not going to get a fondue because Lucy, my wife, uh, is uh, notoriously mm. uh, not, Powerfully. <laughs> not a cheese eater. <laughs> no. Uh, the whole dairy thing. Mm. Not, not, Forget not, it. Uh, yes. Probably not great with fondue. Hence why I'm say. We, we tend to uh, not really track down a very cheesy kind of Can you uh, imagine cuisine? going to a fondue place and saying, Hi. Oh, hi, I'm lactose intolerant. What have you got? <laughs> can, you, can you cater for my needs? They'd probably just be like, for fuck's sake. Jesus. They might Don't just... go to a fondue place. That's, yeah, there's my answer. They might just give you a bucket of oil. Yeah. You know, and they're like, we've got chicken nuggets. Throw it, <laughs> throw it out, yeah. <laughs> but no, but so, so I bet that's happened. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah. Don't go to a fucking fondue place then. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I was like, mm. uh, I was going like, oh, look, look, we do fondue. That's fun, isn't it? And I'm like, fondue. And we're just going to sit there going, like, this place has quite a... This is a little French. Seems a little mm. French in here yeah. now. Yeah. Ooh. And um, and I was like, oh, they do a they do a, a burger, burger with cheese. Yeah. They do oh, cheeseburger. I, I don't think they call it a cheeseburger. And a uh, I a, don't think they do. Yeah. That a, won't a, catch a, uh, that, that'll never work. <laughs> they do a, a raclette. Oh. Yep. Yeah, nice. And not like, a gillette. No, not a gillette. We wait. Maybe it's a raclette. Sleeveless coat. <laughs> and then I was like, we walked into a cheese restaurant, haven't we? Because I mean, I mean, it's like duh, and you like, look, <gasps> like, doom. It's like baby bells on like every corner. Yeah, there's a man doom, dressed as a cheese. Hello. And, and, then, and then the waitress who looked about like twelve came over, and I was like, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say something very stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you serve anything that doesn't contain cheese? And yeah. we're like, no. It's like Get, they said, and, and if she looked, there is a non-cheese option. You can fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> well, she looked at me like, so no. you were that guy. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. Is this a cheese restaurant? And she's like. Yeah. Is that a thing? A cheese restaurant. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like knowing the place, knowing now you've described it, 
it pretty overtly says on the front of the shop that it is a cheese restaurant. It's called Just We Fromage. I don't want to say you weren't you were paying attention or anything, John, but I'm pretty sure. Don't want to accuse well, you. Branding of well, branding of a place look, is slumbering is through your life. Look, when, when we... Okay, and then we we very quickly... They should just call it cheese. We very quickly... We don't need to call it anything else. A place like that. Well, cheese. We'll, cheese. well, look, when we... Cheese. Stepped, look, I we, go it. You want it, we got it. <laughs> we stepped outside, we looked up at the sign, Grand Maison du Fromage, and we were like, yeah. okay, it's the big cheese house. <laughs> like, yeah. Didn't see like yeah. a big cheese. Yeah. Isn't it weird how there are always places in town that whenever they get like they they go out of business or whatever, yeah. the new place pops in. It's always the same thing. Like it's always a cafe. If it if it's a cafe place, mm. you'll get another cafe there, another cafe. Yes, it's like there's some sort of force in the ground. Maybe, uh, and it's like it can't <laughs> they, be anything else. They should make it like a successful business move in and see what happens. Exactly, and then see if it is a curse. And it, but it would fail because there's not selling cheese or whatever. So you're yeah. saying that like you wouldn't get like a cafe turning into a. Like a, like a station uh, cob- cobblers okay. or something. Yeah, yeah. cobblers. Yeah. <laughs> very always very successful businesses, cobblers. What they what would happen is it would start as a cobblers and he wouldn't be doing very well. And he'd he'd have this idea, oh maybe I'll, I don't know, offer a baby bell with each cobble. Yeah. Or cheese whatever. cobbler. And then after a while, yeah, he'll develop the cheese cobbler, which is his ah. his like and then before he knows it, he's a restaurant. He's like, fuck, what happened? Yeah. Like overnight, he's now <laughs> shit. <laughs> and also in uh, like the East Midlands. A cob is a, like a roll. Yes, oh, so, we're gonna it get this now. so it works in both, both ah, ways. Yeah, yes. yeah true. A cobbler. So we could make something, a co- make a co- something there. A cob and a cobbler. Jeez, what do you the call it? Cobbler. Growing up. Like a bread roll. Like what a would you a bread it? roll. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be sarcastic, John, but that's exactly what I, I can't stress it. call it a bap? Some, I'll call it a bap if there's something in it. Oh, interesting. So okay, I don't think I'd call a bear roll a bap, but I'd say a sausage bap or a bacon bap. Have I used the word bap? I must have. Because the, the problem with saying a sausage roll is that that is a thing. Yeah. So well, he, ah, ah right. well, he, well, here see, we go. Yeah. yeah. When you go into Greg's, going which to Greg's, I do. <laughs> yeah. Now and then, they have a breakfast deal. They do. Which is a sausage bap. Yes. Or bacon bap. Sure. With like a hot drink, orange juice, whatever. Yeah. Before eleven. But you have to go in and you have to establish yeah, the get difference. Get a hot orange yeah. juice and a bread. <laughs> yeah. Boiling <slice>. orange <laughs> and an ice cold latte. Orange yeah. juice fondue. <laughs> Um, but you have to say you have to very, very, very clear. Yeah, because that you're they after sell the, sausage rolls. Yeah, that you're after the breakfast deal. Otherwise, yeah. what's going to happen? Anything well, can happen. Whenever I get that, I say I want a sausage. But yeah, oh, I say I say okay. I always say, are you still doing the breakfast deal? And then you say I want. And then I say, I'll have I'll have a sausage. I say. And obviously, yeah. this is the distinction between it is a bread roll containing sausages and a pastry, pastry. sausage encasement. You yeah. wouldn't want a sausage if you're expecting a bacon bap. Sausage bap. Yeah. You wouldn't want a sausage roll turning up. You no. It's all I'm saying. That is fair. Isn't it like this for me, right? I'm, mm. I'm a simple I'm a simple fellow. Sure. For me, yeah. like a sausage. You didn't, didn't realise you were in a cheese A restaurant. sausage is like a <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, like uh, I push my way through the kind of string curtain of baby bells. Cheese, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> cheese what? string, I want to be much cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think baby baby bells. Strings of baby bells. As, yeah, as a door string. That'd be good. Um, I love a baby bell. Yeah, I do. Where's I going with that? Uh, simple fellow. You were a simple fellow. We were oh, talking yeah. about sausages. Sausages, sausages right? Yeah. Oh, For sausages. me, like a sausage, that's like a kind of phallic cylinder yeah. of, of meat. Basically. Absolutely, that's the gimmick. Got to end. Yeah, got to be phallic. You know, like, there's like. It, there's maybe not there's there's quite a few opinions that would say that like traditional sausages you don't eat the skin what like uh, which ones well, do you not eat the skin of as in what well, as as i mean like originally second day as in no medieval peasant was like oh thank god someone took this cow turned it into a tube now i can enjoy it as mm. god intended was it packaging then yeah it was like you, you boil it and then when mm. you're done you peel it scoop be- it out because you're not a f- like yeah. you're not an animal you're not but you can get eat, like... you can get like a sausage patty Yes, or like, so, yeah, just sausage meat, sausage well. meat. But, but I, don't, I don't know what makes it a sausage. This is what I'm getting yeah. at. Like, if yeah. you peel a sausage, now you've got mm. mince meat. Is that is that pork still is that mince. still sausage? Well, I think a, 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 the, when the does pork... mince become a sausage? That's what I want. Yes, to know. well, yeah. we have finally got to the crux yeah. of it. Yeah, you can buy pork mince in Tesco's, and you can buy sausage meat in Tesco's. Mm. And the difference is, can you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the oh, difference can, is yeah. that sausage meat has all sorts of herbs and stuff. Ah, well, and Chinese newspapers and Chinese newspapers. Um, so, so when you look at them on the shelf, they look radically different. Like pork mince looks like red yeah. meat, yeah. and sausage meat looks kind of like white, and it's got herbs <laughs> throughout it, you know, and stuff. It looks processed, more right. processed. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, don't uh, breadcrumbs as well? Don't 
Uh, I don't. Maybe some. Not the sausage. <laughs> not the basic sausage meat. Never none. No. <laughs> Sometimes some, some. If you drop it on the floor, pick it up. It's probably picked. Up it doesn't matter what's got on it if you drop it on the floor. It's, it's not important. Yeah. Exactly. It's just adding to the protein. Yeah. To be honest, like it's gotten to a point where you're so far removed from the original. Uh, uh, protein sauce that like well uh, no sometimes it has a snout in it <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky I'll, I'll be honest who's the lucky one <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> I'll be totally honest here we go I don't give a rat's ass what's in a sausage don't care it could be any- there could be and probably is yeah anything yeah uh, it- certainly some I think yeah like when, the, it, when it says fine, on though. the packaging which it does mechanically recovered good <laughs> And honestly, I swear to God, that is two words that you can read on a pack of hot dogs, like Frankfurters. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's good, isn't it? It's powerfully vague, which I think is... I, I don't care, though. I'm just intrigued. I think that means like, after they've killed the animal, uh, uh, they have like scrapers that uh, just kind of bring the... You know, down the walls. Down the walls, because <laughs> of the splattering. They yeah. haven't killed it in a very efficient manner. Because yeah. I think uh, like if you bought like a sausage, yeah. Yeah, uh, a classic English sausage. Classic English sausage. Yeah, right, maybe a Cumberland. From Lincolnshire. That is really just going to have pork and herbs in it. That's it. Good. That is fucking it. Well. Mm. Well. Well. And breadcrumbs. Well, Well, here we go. Here we go. It's for breadcrumbs, isn't it? Is it? Because uh, years ago, when my mom discovered that she had certain dietary requirements, Mm. and this is a good while ago now, she shifted on to gluten-free sausages. Ah, yes, that's true. Because they didn't have breadcrumbs, and it was generally considered that they were actually better because it was just more meat, wasn't it? I guess that's true. More protein, less carbs, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. With bread. Yeah. I guess bread. maybe they kind of use it as a binding agent to something. Yeah. I don't know. But like, also like roughage and texture. Yeah. Well, if really you had like an amazing, I'm just going back to that medieval peasant again. Yeah. If you had like an amazing, an amazing like pig that wanted to die. And please kill me, father. Please kill me. Eat me. I don't feel bad about this. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's your God-given right. Take a scoop out of my bag. <laughs> so, like, if you had, like, an amazing piece of meat, you'd probably mm. just cook the meat. You probably would. Like, I don't think anyone gets so to sausage. So where did the sausage originate? I think that's because before they had mechanically recovered, they yeah. had uh, artificially recovered, which yeah. is a- as in, like, can we eat that? Well, not with our eyes open. But Let's if we, put it in a... If we, like blitz it yeah a, yeah. Lip, a little yeah. because really, like the lord of the manor comes along and he takes like the good meat mm. and you're left with like you know yeah. the, the genitals and the kidneys and and i agree yeah but i would say that hard to the other end of that spectrum mm. is the frankfurter right sure which i think is the equivalent of whatever they do to chicken nuggets in mcdonald's <laughs> where they essentially oh. liquidize everything i mean it, yeah. uh, and it becomes is, a paste yeah it's perfectly smooth yeah because a frankfurter isn't a skin with a meat inside no, no. a frankfurter is all the same material oh, doesn't it have any skin at I all do, i don't know they, no, I don't, I, don't they, they do yeah yeah i think it's all the same process yeah. but even if there is. is a skin throughout it it is just so perfectly consistent yeah. that it can't it's it's so less natural whereas at least a sausage yeah when you cut it in half there's a texture right it's there's like a meat yeah. texture to it did you i do either to be yeah. fair, so I. I, I'm happily eat a frankfurter. I love a frankfurter. I quite like, yeah. a, like a street dog. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. At Christmas. Hell yeah. yeah. Go to the Christmas oh, market. Get a frankfurter. Oh. Ah. ah, well, here's the thing, though. Oh. Oh. Did you study German at secondary school? I didn't. I did uh, Spanish. Really? Mm. Wow. Classy. Yeah. Was it? Well, it feels classy. We didn't. We didn't. Classy. We I didn't, don't know. Like, German feels classy to me. But yeah. The oh. road not travel, doesn't it? But you, the, the, there's like. Uh, the, like when you're learning French, you talk about baguettes a lot. Do talk about because baguettes it's like a like lot. A, baguettes. Like an, baguette an, an, an eleven-year-old is like you know baguette, baguette. Or uh, you know pom, baguette, mm. ananas. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. And then like the, in the German textbook, it was like we had to learn the distinction between a bockwurst and a bratwurst. Yeah, it was all sausages yeah, all the way down. Boiled sausage and uh, roasted sausage mm. or like grilled, grilled sausage. Grilled. Yeah. 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 So like. Uh, you know, the Germans, I think, I, I feel like they maybe are like the sausage masters. I think they are. And I, mm. being a fan of a sausage, yeah. yeah, I am startled daily that I haven't gone to Germany yet. I've never been to Germany. Mm. Uh, and I think I'd love it there. I've never walked around Germany. I, it sounds weird. I've been to Germany. You went to see a football match in Germany, right? Did you, did you go to see a football match? No. I, no, ah. Kind, ah. Of, kind of well remembered because I did go to watch the German national team play in the World Cup. But it was in France. Ah, ah that is a good yeah. bravo. It's very well, well it's kind of remembered. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I feel like uh, I, I kind of feel the same way because I feel like we kind of got close to this when we went on our holiday to Bruges. Oh yes, uh, to Bruges. some extent because it'd be like Le I feel like you could sit down at like a wooden bench 
Oh. And you sit down, and oh, then you'd, like it. you'd already have it. Maybe it'd just be a tankard. There would be hand. a tankard there. I'll tell you something that most go. European cities have that we don't really have here no. that's absolutely delightful. Drainage. No. <laughs> well, yeah. That. Membership of the European Union. But like a city square. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where everyone hangs out yeah. communally. Oh, I feel like I harp on about this all the time. I like, love a, a city I, square. Yeah. French particularly do yeah. this very, very I mean, there well. There was one in Lille. Yeah. It was awesome. Just yeah. hung out there. Lots of cafes and... They bars, spill out yeah, on the street. The streets yeah. are always bustling. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's true, actually. We don't. Another thing they have that's great. Mm. Siestas. Yep. Go to sleep in the afternoon. Mm. Wake up, stay up till like 11. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Shops feel... are open till 10. Yeah. I feel like I would just sleep all day, though. Yeah. My problem with a siesta is if I went to sleep during the afternoon, I wouldn't be productive afterwards. Wow. I might get used to it. That's my worry as well. I wasn't... I feel like my productivity kind of just totally died mid-afternoon today. And Mm. I I regained... Mine did too, actually, today. I regained it around five o'clock. So you kind of had a siesta. I'm like, this is useless. You had a mental siesta. Yeah, what can I do with that? Yeah. You had like a mental siesta. I don't think you necessarily have to sleep in your siesta, right? I think that's the beauty of it. You just chill. You just go sit out on your stoop. Oh, that would be right. And you have like a cassis. I assumed I had to sleep. No, I don't think you have to. If I can chill, that's... If I can chill, that's right. Is a cassis a drink? Yeah. I think so. It's like a sort of uh, liqueur kind of Ooh. very high alcohol content. And then you typically mix it with like water, nice. or which is a weird mix, but quite a good one. Oh. Or like a tonic type, type oh, of thing. Oh, it's not um, aniseed flavour. Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. yeah. Yeah. And it creates this weird effect in water where it goes cloudy. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, apparently like, I, I discovered this like a few months ago, apparently like every European country bar us. Well, I guess we're not in Europe anymore. Maybe that's why. Um, <laughs> like, every European country has, like, its own yeah. aniseed drink. Yeah. Like, everyone's just They're horny for well aniseed. Into we it. have yeah. Sambuca. Flaming Sambuca. You have flaming yeah. Sambuca. Yeah, because we're, yeah, in Weatherspoon. We invented that. <laughs> I feel like... We're classy. Yeah. Like, what, what is it What is it with our... Co- uh, cheers, by the way. What is it with <laughs> our country and our approach to alcohol? Because, like, mm. when, like, I was learning to drink, and it's like, well, you drink beer, don't you? Because it's like one pound twenty a pint because yeah. it's two thousand and four. Used to be, and, and it's healthier than the water. It's <laughs> yeah, there's more of it. Than there's water, definitely more of it. It's yeah. healthier than thinking. Yeah. Like, and then and then it's like when you go into spirits, they're like, oh yeah, and spirits are shots, or you mm. or you put Southern Comfort in it, yeah. you know, and you yeah, or you mix it with Coke. Yeah, like I, what the fuck? You put Southern Comfort in your spirits. Well, you put spirits in your Southern Comfort. <laughs> I see. You know, but, but, but yeah. my point is, and then it's like you do it the right way around. And then it's yeah. like you go to like any I'll have a vodka and Southern Comfort, <laughs> please, Jesus. <laughs> and, 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 and you'll go over to uh, and then anywhere in Europe, and it'll be like, gosh, it's three p.m. It's fifty-eight degrees in the shade. Mm. Would you like a, an exquisite liqueur? Uh, uh, um, Yes. yes, yes, I, I would. would, yeah. would you like to mix it with fifty milligrams of water with this exquisite crystal stirring rod? Yeah, no, I will. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or it's like, gosh, I've had a busy day on a ski slope. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what I'll have now. I'm back at the bar. Good day, sir. Would you like an ice cold schnapps? I'm like, yeah. uh, and are we going to go fucking mental once we drink yeah. it? No, sir. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so, I, what do I do? You enjoy it, sir. Enjoy yeah. It. yeah. Oh. Would, uh, I've yeah. had a very busy day being a nude model. Yeah. Like, literally all day. Yeah. Um, I would... <laughs> How busy do you think nude models are? <laughs> In France, France, very busy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, every, every They're running around like, everywhere. Yeah, just yeah. everywhere, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's a lot of admin I'll just being a nude model. I'll just sip on a liqueur for the next two hours. Yeah. yeah. Underneath this veranda. We well, sort of like a contro. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you. Contro. I can't keep up with it in France because, like, Ali's dad has gone hard into the drinking mm. culture of France, which nice. I very much respect. <laughs> 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 but, like, he's, it's literally every 15 minutes, it's a different thing. It's Oof. just like, Cassis now? I'm like, uh, I'm s- wasted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely, like, <laughs> absolutely off my head. Whereas, yeah. like, I don't know, this Bavarian grandpa who can, like, lift a cow over one shoulder gets out of bed. This yeah. is it. Has, like, a, crom- a creme du monde <laughs> and then. Walks 18 miles. Yeah. 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 And it, it doesn't even enter his bloodstream. <laughs> you know, like, I just don't. And every, every single one's got a different glass as well, like I a know. different custom yeah. unique glass for it. Yeah. So you got to use this glass because otherwise you'll bruise the vermouth. I, I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> I, go like, I don't know. <laughs> just let me drink. <laughs> I'll have a beer. You want <laughs> you, you get out. <laughs> or you'll go like, can I just have a beer? Oh, yes, of course, sir. And they bring you like a beer in an egg cup and yeah. it's like, and it's 48%. I'm like, I just want to. I just, I just want to call it. It's cool with liquid <laughs> nitrogen. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Dear. I feel like... It's a great, it's a great country. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if, if they're like, oh, what do we do around here? Well, you know, come through PM, we find a cafe. 
and we just sit and play dominoes for eight hours, yeah. and then we drink like the blackest coffee you've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, with a with a chaser of k- k- what do you call it? Cassis. Cassis. You know. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we suck on a sugar cube every now and then. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. What a life. What a life. And oh. we don't eat anything else except for dinner, where we just go fucking hog <laughs> wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we'll eat everything, but we yeah. don't eat other meals. Yeah. Have a croissant for breakfast, eat nothing for like 14 hours, I'd have and then go <laughs> mad. I'd, 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 I'd be blind and have gout after two days. Yeah. And I'm like, how do you, you do imagine, Yeah, Can you imagine us yeah. adjusting to that? It would be awful. Yeah. Oh. How was your day? <laughs> yeah, cure it. How yeah. was your day? Oh, I shat out a racehorse. <laughs> I'm sweating butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do it all over again. I get nothing but oysters. <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> Mainline it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, oh my uh, god! I love France. <clears throat> um, who's who's got oh, a hate? Oh god! Yeah, who's got go a hate? on. Oh, god, right, yeah, here we I've go. Forgotten my name. Uh, <laughs> yeah. all We've been talking for so long. That we've all forgotten. <laughs> Fucking uh, <laughs> I hate being part of a community WhatsApp group. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we I go. Can relate to this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. There's a reason I avoided it for so long. Why yeah. did you get involved? Well, so I've never really spoken to my neighbours until I moved to my current house, and I like that just fine. <laughs> um, I like our current neighbours very much. For well, the they record. invite you over for raclette. raclette. They yeah. invite us over for raclette. They, got, they watered our house plants while we were away this oh, week. They sound great. For that, very still. nice people. It's not them I have the problem with, it's everyone else. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so the field out the back of our house. One of the main reasons we bought the house is because there's a field out the back, mm, delightful. and it's a good place to walk the dog. Sure. And you can only access it if you're a resident. Oh. That field is owned by two different churches, as it turns out. Weird. And for years now, one of those churches has wanted to sell the land for development, right. and the residents have kicked off. Like for the last twenty years or so, right? There's been a whole thing with the Catholic <sighs> Church. Hullabaloo which I've only found out about in the last month or so because I've got involved in the community WhatsApp group. Oh. So a man called... Uh, let's, his name? let's give him a fake name. Pope fake... Francis. Pa- yeah, well, what? Are we he'd, be one of the church, he'd be one of the church Oh, people. I thought that's what we were talking uh, about. Yeah. Uh, no. Martin Luther. Martin he left Luther. the church. He's, he's right. the guy a few doors down, and I like this guy. Martin Luther. He basically gave me the history. <laughs> Martin Luther, yeah. <laughs> Who gave me the history of it? He said, I have a dream. Um, <laughs> and, he, and he just gave me the history. I was like, oh, that's very interesting. He was like, well, so because they want to sell it, they now basically won't maintain the field because we're basically saying no to what they want to do with it. Sure. So they're now refusing to so maintain it. So as a fuck it. you to you. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. So he's like. So, so they're what... being an unscrupulous landlord of the field, basically. basically yeah. yeah. Mm. And, I, and I'm like, well, we all use the field. And he said, what we're thinking of is um, all pitching in a few pound a month and we'll all get it mowed. As okay. residents, and yeah, I, that yeah. sounds fine. That sounds good. Sounds I, use, yeah. I use this field two, three times a week. Great, nice one. Is it pretty wild out there? It's not now because they've had it mowed. Ah. It, they've started the process now. I see. So he said, "That's great. I'll, I'll, you know, give you details." Uh, my neighbours already have my details, but they'll add you into the WhatsApp group because they're already in there. Right, right, right. Fine, thank you. Lovely. So Brilliant. I asked them to add me to the WhatsApp group. They did. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, that was your first mistake. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so I'm in what's, I won't name the location, but it's, they call it the um, Community Action Group oh, and the God. name of the, the field CAG. at the start. <laughs> How many people are in this group? Oh my God, 30, That's an something, like that. It's, it's something like that. WhatsApp's a bit of a double-edged sword at yeah. the best of times. There's a limit, I think. And I, it's, big, it's pointless after a certain point. Yeah. yeah. And I've said, look, I'm happy to be, give me the bank details, £35 and we'll get grass cut for six months through to the winter. Awesome. Great. That sounds, that's how I use sounds the grass. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Awesome. Since then, everyone's been good. There's a guy, and I won't use his real name, Tony, um, <laughs> <laughs> who I've never met and, to be honest, doesn't listen to this, so it's fine. You don't yeah. know? Uh, yeah. He might have to this. <laughs> I've whacking him a WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll put, the, I'll put the link in. Yeah, put the link in. I'll put the link in. Next <laughs> one. And he start. Well, I'll try and I'll find the actual message for you and I'll read what he said because it's, it's a humdinger. <laughs> Um, what did he ask for? So he asked for, uh, when they cut the grass, so this was, they, they hired on your the, field, on the field, they yeah. hired a company to do it. Can we ask for a wider margin to be left around the edges? This will help provide a decent wildlife zone. <laughs> the fact we have slow worms, I'm laughing, newts, <laughs> frogs, and likely toads means we need to provide for them. 
doesn't. It will also provide great butterfly and invertebrate habitat too. All great for community mental health. Fuck off. Oh, interesting. <laughs> she... Okay. No, no. There's a no. school of thought here. No. No, I just... uh, no John. I'm just... Let me be devil's advocate. No. Someone's listening to this going, this Tony totally seems like a pretty reasonable guy. No. This Tony wants to protect all this lovely wildlife. I've lived in that house for five years. And you've seen man and boy. millions <laughs> of slow worms. Man, man and man. <laughs> And I go out there two, three times a week. I have not seen a flatworm. I have not seen a newt. I have not seen a frog. I have not seen a toad. Is there water in it? No. Right. Okay. It's, a, it's a pile of grass, and that's fine. That's what yeah. we need. It's for dogs and kids, that field. It's not a nature reserve. It's for dogs, kids, and toads. Do it's not. <laughs> but isn't like... I, I couldn't give a shit about the invertebrates, John. <laughs> now, what would be good for my mental health is a, if it's a... The dog doesn't walk back in the house with a toad in her mouth. That would be good for my mental health. Well, that's true. Now, I'm just saying, uh, uh, I, I obviously support you wholeheartedly thank, thank in this. You. Uh, I'm 50-50 at the moment. You, <laughs> say, me over. you saying, uh, I don't give a shit about nature. It's not a what. I didn't say that. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, you said, I don't give a shit about invertebrates. That's exactly yeah. what I uh, said. You said, yeah. it's, it's not a nature I reserve. I was just going It's not a fucking nature it's reserve. It's not a nature reserve. It never has been. It's always just been a field for dogs and kids to play in. Isn't like... If it was a nature reserve <clears throat> and Tony wanted us to maintain that, fair enough. Mm, sure. I know what it is. I know what you want to maintain. Awesome. Don't give me this bullshit that it, butterflies and invertebrates are good for mental health. That's bollocks. I've never met Tony. I've never <laughs> seen him out there. What's what's he doing out? What's he been doing? Well, he'd love to frolic, but in his, in his mowing, doesn't it? In his, in well, he loves to frolic, but yeah. I've, I've never seen him out there. And he obviously doesn't have a dog, because otherwise he wouldn't be saying this, because only a moron would say that with a dog. Maybe he's been scooping up all of these invertebrates, and he's got his little, he's got a little biological... That's fine. Little, if, he wants to, if he wants to scoop them up and take them in, that's fine, but don't, scoop up. don't be telling me how the grass should be mowed. Maybe... <laughs> well, uh, you're laughing at me, I'm, John. Not, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of laughing with you. I'm just, I'm just remembering the time when we would talk about, like, uh, something that wasn't so aggressively middle-aged. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. I think uh, those yeah. were the days, weren't they? Just embrace it fully now, yeah. yeah. Um... Uh, this isn't all, by the way. This is part one. Is it like okay. what? What do you take more issue with? The fact that Tony's trying to like save the planet, or the manner in which he has approached um, the, uh... I... or that he doesn't have a actually he's not what he's saying exists isn't there. Is well, that the it, biggest issue? Yeah, yeah, that's that's one thing, and it's one guy. I said that earlier. There's about thirty people in this. Room. Sure, yeah. One guy has said. Has anyone else gone? Tony's got a point there. No, right. No. Nobody said anything because everyone's, you know. You're going to say something. Too polite. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say something insulting, but I'll say too polite. Yeah. What if, if you walked home tonight and you saw a newt, would that be a Christmas miracle? <laughs> Especially if you had a little I Christmas I don't house. think I've ever seen a newt in real life. Oh, really? You've missed out. Newts are great. I don't think I've seen a newt. My newt's only... I've seen, I've seen a few newts. Oh, yeah. Where are all yeah. the newts hanging out? Sal Salisbury, I guess. <laughs> if you home. tell them they're out the field behind my house, <laughs> well, I'm going to call you a liar. <laughs> No, I haven't been in your field. No. You should. Oh, it's great. Oh, really? There's invertebrates and... Uh... <laughs> we need to get mental health as well. <laughs> I need something to help my mental health. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've seen a few newts in my time. Oh, yeah. My only, my only knowledge of newts is that they died in the fire in Farthingwood. Everything died in the fire in yeah. Farthingwood, uh, right? Uh, for anyone listening, um, <laughs> just, just let it go. <laughs> it's, it's... They died in the fire! Yeah, I know, but then it's... I'm try... it's think about the American... Think about listeners. the context. Think about anybody who wasn't watching British TV in, like, 1993... Oh, we were though. That's what matters. Yeah, yeah. The, the demographic of the audience is surely around. Just Google Farthingwood, and you'll two, start crying. You're two for two on really caring about the opinions <laughs> of yeah. other people. Yeah. yeah. Also, you brought up Farthingwood, which yeah. is an ecological disaster story about wildlife being driven out of his home. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my point. You're the bad guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not the bad guy because they're not there. <laughs> They're not because they're, they're scared of you. Yeah. They run away when you Fine. come near. Fine. Because you come you come out in your big JCB. Yeah. And you're like, what's his face yeah. from Fern Gully? Pollutor. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish I could afford a JCB. To Toxus? Noxus? Nox noxious. Toxus. Noxious. Obnoxious. Toxious. <laughs> noxious. That's, that's what they all call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To all the newts like it comes obnoxious. Yeah. Toxus. That's all right. That's yeah. fine. All the newts. That's all the, all, all seven of the newts. Both newts. <laughs> both newts? Yeah, the two newts of your field. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Generally, on the amount of newts, on the see. number of newts yeah. I see, newt total. I've never seen any of those animals out there, and that's cool. Newt gate. Anyway, so this. what they what they landed on is he the the fella got on. He edge. landed on a newt, so he has got one edge that's a bit longer now. He's okay. on edge. 
I'm on edge. Right. <laughs> oh, he's what? He won the battle. It, well, there wasn't really a battle. So everyone just went, yeah, all right. Sure. Okay, so it's, but it's a field. It's a field. So have you mowed the whole thing flat? I didn't do anything. Well, I mean, has it? I paid six quid and it got done. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I actually haven't paid yet. And then you just look back at <laughs> the corpses. I've got to say, you're not sounding great. <laughs> 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 yes, I saw, I saw, you fought for ecological destruction and then haven't paid for I it. I haven't paid. <laughs> no, Martin Luther hasn't given me his bank details yet. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So sure. Like, I will pay. Okay. 36 yeah. quid. It was good. Good value. Well, it didn't do a very good job. So, so that's, the, another, that's another. Reason. So, like, <laughs> it's a big field, though. And so there's big-ish. a little bit that's left for Tony. There's a, and his, to be fair, what is invertebrates? What's been left is fu- you know, fine. Sure. It's not the end of the world. It's just it the is fact, the It's the fact that he's come out of nowhere. He's suddenly gone. Oh yeah, I really care about all these animals that don't exist in the field. <laughs> okay. And it's just like it's just like oh, can we not just have? Can we not just get uh, this done? You know, can we have a conversation about it rather than you just say, oh yeah, I'd like this strip to be left. I saw two fellas out there the day after this happened and I'd never seen either of them before so I must assume one of them was Tony. Oh. There was a guy out there with headphones on who looked like he was metal detecting. Oh. And newt detecting. Newt detecting. That'll be it. Yeah. No and there was a guy out there taking photos of the hedge. <gasps> photos of newt. Could be. Sexy nude newt photos. Could be. I, my dog will go into a hedge and find a tennis ball very easily. Mm. If there were animals in there moving around, she would alert me to that. Moving about, scooping about. She would say, "Here's a new." She would, she, would she? No. She would. She would make a fuss. What's right. her general approach to animals? Uh, she'll chase them. She wouldn't know what to do if she got there. Sure. Like right. a squirrel, she'll chase. Yeah. You're telling us not half an hour prior to recording mm. this that she pissed on a crab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. That, yeah, that is, happened this week when we were in Cornwall. That is. Funny. I'll get to that. Sure. That's a, that's a different okay, so conversation. Okay, so you said this wasn't all there was to this community group. So, this week... Oh, no. Here we go. So, there's another the element. The have joined the, the pro- WhatsApp group. The problem now is Newt one. that the the group was formed by Martin Luther. Oh, no. Because he had a dream. Um, <laughs> as a as a group to talk about this p- specific subject. Newt chat. Newt chat. Send nukes. Send nukes. <laughs> Send nukes. Send nukes. Come on. <laughs> First joke of the podcast. Send, write that down, John. <laughs> Send you. Series. Yeah. Um, and that's fine. So he, he set up an original group and then he set up a subsequent group because not everyone could chat in it or type Spin it. Spin-off group. Or something. Like Breakout room. Cooler so we all got group, added yeah. to that. Oh, wow. And Great. now people have started bringing up other shit. Oh, no. Well, we get it doesn't now. relate. There's a, apparently there's a... Uh, well, I sent you the link yesterday, actually, which was about a, a poll that's going up for 5G, supposedly, on our street. Oh, I saw that. And everyone is talking about that on the group. And I'm now, like, isn't that oh. interesting? No uh, one no one weighs in on Tony's Newtgate yeah. scenario, right? But then the instant someone goes, there's a 5G antenna going up, mm. everyone piles everyone's in. Everyone's on it. I saw one comment from a woman that, on the yeah. link you sent, and she said something like, I am sensitive to electromagnetism, yep. and I've had to remove the router from my mm. house. How she how she sending that message? That's a great question. <laughs> well, she did it, but then she went, ah, yeah. when she sent it. <laughs> how she... <laughs> it's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's happy to use data. Yeah. Yeah, data's fine. Data? Yeah. I would have typed this earlier, but my Wi-Fi is really slow. Funny that. <laughs> uh, she go around her window so with anyway, like a bar magnet. <laughs> so everyone... <laughs> Like, ah, what you gonna do, Agatha? <laughs> uh, and so now everyone's talking about that, and the girl. I'm like, I didn't join this for this bullshit. Yeah. And there's a guy being preached going, it might affect house values. Uh, oh, it might possibly affect yeah, the efficiency them. of pruning the trees. <laughs> Fucking hell, I don't care. And Where- you're saying that's a possibility. Yeah. You're not saying that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. It's just like what? Don't put but it on a like, WhatsApp group. It's like the idea of bringing up a negative, even if the negative is microscopic in comparison yeah. to the positive. A 5G network rollout across the entire country mm. benefits everyone and society as a whole far more than how hard or easy it may be to prune the fucking hedge. Yeah. It doesn't count as an equivalent negative. It's too small in the in the context of what we're fucking talking about to bother bringing it up Mo- at all. No, Most of the people in this group are of an age where they're all terrified that 5G is going to kill them. Basically. Yeah, and kill the newts. They, see, they seem very worried about that. Were they group. angry about 4G? This is why I don't Probably. understand. Because like 4G this would is... be like 80% as bad. But they're, they're, they're... Well, that's what's so fucking stupid is that yeah. the power level doesn't change. It's just how data's mm. encoded. It's li- there's literally mm. no difference. Yeah. It's they, about... they are, it's all going mad and I'm just like, oh, I've had enough of this group. I just, I just want to be in it so... Martin Luther can give me his bank details and then, <laughs> and then I will leave. There's like that one, like, it's almost like a ghost town in America, which is like mm. in the middle of like the Arizona desert or something. And all these people have moved there and they live out of like camper vans because mm. they all believe that like um, 
electromagnetism is like killing them. Yeah, yeah. sure. So they have like no electrical devices or no. anything. And they live in squalor. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> and it's by far the worst town in America. Yeah. yeah. Um, wow, I'm very sensitive to electromagnetism. Yeah, that's some bullshit. There is some bullshit yeah. on that. That's a strange I mean, lie. the Earth yeah. has an electromagnetic field. Yeah, big time. Which is arguably, considerably, more powerful yeah, than so. anything we've ever made. Maybe that's what she's feeling. Maybe that is what she's feeling. Yeah. But we have had that since, I'm going to say, the dawn of time. Oh, the dawn of time. Yeah, so it's the dawn not, of time. So it's not a recent one. Not as recent, maybe, as the 5G antenna, no, for sure, example. Sure. Which is, I'd say, weaker than the planet. I signed the position. Purely because I don't want a massive pole going up on the street. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, not in my, not in my backyard. Not in my backyard. No. Yeah. Oh, I hate the who's fucking gonna, newt. The newt. Who's going to look after the newts? <laughs> when the five G <laughs> pole comes, who's going to look after the newts, John? It's going to drive those newts fucking wild. Yeah, yeah. 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 Electrify the newts. Either in a good or bad way. We don't know yet. But they're horny. Could be horny newts. Horny newts. Imagine horn, that. A horned newt. If but, you will. The terrifying yeah. thing send, here. Send newts. The terrifying thing here is that you've 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 erected such a uh, <laughs> erected. Right. your entire position is based upon the idea of there being no nukes. So if there was an eighties movie yeah. of this, you'd be very incentivized to kill any newt you found. Yeah. Lest, yeah to prove your point. Let's get back to Tony. You'd be the yeah. the, the character in the eighties movie, he's wearing like a zoot suit. Mm. Or newt suit, maybe. Newt suit, nice. <laughs> Um, and you'd be the big corporate. You knew it was so lend itself so nicely oh, it's, to puns. It's, it's great. It's very you'd cute. have a big cigar, mm. and you'd be like, "There ain't no newts in my field," <laughs> like that. It'd just be me holding oh. sticks of dynamite. And then we cut the to the newts, yeah. and they'd be like cartoon characters, and they'd all be really. One would have a cap on backwards. Sure. One would have a skateboard. They'd all be really likable newts, yeah. and they'd be like. <laughs> That that big man up top, he don't even know that we exist. Yeah. Like you that. you said it's skateboard newt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd watch that show. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, Netflix. Live show. action? Live action, but oh. with cartoon elements. Oh, I see. Like, yeah. um, like Hugh Frame Roger Rabbit. Gotcha. That's what it'll be like. Yeah, I'd watch that. And you're the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd watch it that. It kind of sounds that way. So, yeah. So, in summary, Your yeah. Honor, um, I don't want to be in the community WhatsApp group anymore. I It's everything I feared it would be. And the reason I didn't join one of these groups years ago yeah. is because of what is now can, happening. Can you now leave? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah, I you, see can, why not. you can leave a WhatsApp group, right? I'll be honest with you. Oh, you can, but the question is, should you? Should you? Because now everyone will know he's left. They will get an alert Well, there was, a, there was a guy... Chris has left. There was a guy, and it wasn't Tony last night. <laughs> he's burping. Uh, <laughs> there's a guy... <laughs> different, different guy... <laughs> Um, that's Who's the show for anymore? I don't know. <laughs> the Newts. The Newts. My and I won't say his name, Newts. Peter. Um, <laughs> You're good at this. Yeah. And he was he was kicking off, and I'm like, well, have you said this? In, have you like put a, a four ball thing together? And I don't think he has. Looking no. at the link I sent you, it's just like, oh, if anyone would like to submit something, they can here. I'm like, have you? <laughs> have you? <laughs> have you? And it's like, and all the points he was raising, he was like, well, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. I'm like, and I actually wrote back, I was like, I'd had a few beers. Uh, and <laughs> I, I wrote back and I said, have you actually communicated this to the council? And then he came back saying he hadn't and why. And it sort of made sense because apparently they don't consider things like house prices in public appeals for this kind of thing. Blah, sure. blah, blah. But some of it, and, I'm it, sure and, then, he, and then he moaned that only a couple of people in our neighborhood, inverted commas, had put an official complaint together. And I'm like, well... There's two things to that. One, are you one of them? Couldn't see that you were. And two, if someone's already put quite an eloquent appeal together, it's not very useful for me to go, I don't like the idea of a poll because it'll get in my uh, line of sight uh, to fucking who cares where. There's no, po there's no point me adding to that. No, true. I no. can't add anything particularly no. eloquent as I'm currently proving. <laughs> So, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, so don't, so don't put it on a WhatsApp group. Just do what you want to do. I guess the scary thing is, is that like, if you get on the wrong side of your neighbours, because, mm. you know, you're being the one asking questions. That's fine. Yeah, I just mean like, I, mean, I, 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 I don't think I, don't think I will, because I feel, I feel like probably most people in that group think the same. It's just that nobody can be asked or doesn't want the inconvenience of someone calling them out. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not going to do it consistently because I really don't care. No. But... Last night I was just like, that's annoyed me, and it was just like, it's just like, why put it in a WhatsApp group? But don't I feel like these don't things, put it somewhere else. They just end up being like a weird little crucible for mini dramas to just mm, happen. Yeah, and that's it. Like, yeah, there'll be something else soon. If there wasn't a vessel, the dramas wouldn't happen. Yeah. But the instant there's a group of twenty to 30, 30 people or whatever, it's just like, 
we could I could object to that though. Yeah. Like so and so's written something and now I kind of don't like that he said that. Mm. And I'm gonna say no to that. And that'll yeah. and it's almost like it's not necessarily that you have a real issue. It's more that you're like, I have an issue that they said that. Yeah. So I'm gonna come up with an alternative reason for why mm. I don't like. And you could argue that whether or not you are the eighties bad guy villain who's destroying the newt's habitat or whatever, yeah. you could argue that maybe Tony mm. wanted to just object. Yeah. And so he came up with something. I feel like there's something with. in that. Yeah. Or you are, it's the animals of Farting Wood. And yeah. You're, you're destroying I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Are, that's yes. okay. I mean, that, that's, that's, I mean, I that's would, I would why, why, the, not, why not both? I would why be, not both? Why not I both? Just the, enjoy both. I would be the bad guy for sure. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. If I had ever seen a newt mm, out there. Yeah. And I guarantee that if you were to see a newt now, mm. you would definitely be honest and tell us about it. You would. Yes. Yeah. Where are you going with that shovel, dear? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's fine. Where'd you get a gun? Yeah. Where did you even acquire that? Shouldn't be possible. Yeah. So I'm sure there'll be another drama in a week or so. But I, yeah, I'm regretting being Just part leave. of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy the field's done. I'm happy I can go out there again. <laughs> happy I haven't paid for it. Happy, happy to pay six pound a month to the, for it to get done. Not happy with the repercussions of joining that group. No, this sounds nightmarish. I don't care yeah. what the subject is. Whether yeah, it no, I'd, I'd want to. Or... I've muted. I have, or, I have now muted the group. Muted. Muted. It. I've muted it. <laughs> Come on. God, God damn God, it. We're yeah, here. we're all over it. This is sensational stuff. This is top tier comedy. Tell yeah. you what. I'm, have pa- one of these pass guys. me a beer, Chris yeah. Ray. Well, here's an, I was on holiday this week, and I'll, I'll get to that shortly. Drinks. But as I said to you, pull that out there. I thank you, I have. Um, Let's that out of that. I bought you some lovely Cornish beers. Oh, oh yes. I can't wait for these. Yeah, oh, Amstel. Whip them out. Well, here are the, Let's <laughs> get them up on the table. What I, what I have here. What you have here is, is Amstel. A generic. Is, oh. oh, no. Oh, it's, it's, oh, no. Oh, it's been in the car because we bought it back from Cornwall. What we have here, Amstel beer. Amstel beer. You from, buy from literally from... any shop anywhere in the country. <laughs> Maybe some shit shops, actually. Maybe some of the shit Maybe. shops. So this I bought you some lovely... I can't wait for this. Padsto uh, Brewing Company beer. Here we go. Beer. What a treat. Uh, but I, I drank it. Mm. Oh. So I got you some Amstel instead. Mm. Okay, well, you know, Amstel's uh, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's a beer. But it came to Cornwall and back from Cornwall with me. Okay, that's something. Yeah. So that's... The, yeah. You know, it's so been... technically, it is Cornish. It's um, <laughs> it tastes um, very um, very yeah. watery, which which mm. means it must be good. Like it's, I think it's that's a sign. Lots of, of water in uh, lots of water in Amsterdam. Uh, sure, yeah, and yeah. Cornwall. I thought is you were going to say, but it's is Dutch. It, is it Dutch? Uh, Amsterdam is Dutch. No, well, I, I live live and learn. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, as, as I live and breathe. Anyway, enough about you. Who's got a hate? I, I've got a hate. Nick's got a hate. I've, um, I've, done, I've done mine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're done with yours. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, we finished it. Um, I hate being a, a sticky uh, sticky boy. <laughs> I hate being a messy sticky boy. Okay. Oh no. Um, I uh, I will avoid a food, a meal. Yeah. Okay. That will result in me being a sticky boy. I don't like. I don't like. I I, I it, it takes away from the enjoyment of the food that I'm eating yeah. if I will end up messy. Mm. Even to the point that I will sometimes. Order a food, not knowing that it's going to be a messy food. And then it turns out. And then it, and it turns up and I'm like, shit, I'm going to get, I'm going to be a sticky I'm boy. I'm going to be a this. messy boy. And so throughout the meal, despite the fact that it's a completely pointless endeavor, I will wipe down yes. with like serviettes and napkins, my fingers and mouth and face and everything yeah. at periodic intervals, yeah. even though it's completely pointless because I'll just go straight back Still in again. get messy again. And as a result, I never order wings. Right, wings are a food. Yeah, I just and you'd think Nick, he's the kind of guy who, who'd like a wings. Sure, he'd like a wings. Yeah, because a wings chicken, good. Yeah, various s- sloppy sauces with yeah. flavour and spice. Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, c- kind of like fast foodie comes in a basket. Good. Good. Yeah, if a food comes in a basket. <laughs> comes in a basket. <laughs> when I think of a, when I think of a basket. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, maybe comes. With are we chips, talking like good. an authentic basket or one of them plastic ones? Either's fine. Uh, Actually, a plastic uh, yeah. basket's good. Yeah. You know, because you know you've got a crashy a like... kind of food then. You can yeah. wipe that clean. Exactly. Yeah. Reuse that. That's yeah. true. Or yeah. recycle it. Um, ch- mm. ch- all of those things you'd think, hey, Nick's going to like those wings. And I will never order a wings. Would you have wings at home? No. 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 I don't want to be at any stage. Even if I'm at home and it's arguably easier to clean myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can wear a bib at home. Yeah, bib gloves. doesn't matter because, like, yeah, okay, it wouldn't get on my clothes. No. But it'd be all over my hands. Yeah. It'd be all over my face. Yeah. In my hair, probably. <laughs> um, in my beard. So yeah, ju- yeah. Uh, just to clarify, mm. you, you say, like, a, a sticky boy. A sticky... Like, you feel like... Sticky. Yeah. You feel the sticky... Well, here's a question. On the Because a stickiness, that's like a broad... We're talking like a broad church of being sloppy here. Sure. So say, like, you're eating... Um, oh, I don't know. Let's go with French cuisine. You're eating a... 
Gallet. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 Rackler. Rackler. You're eating a, a, big, a big bowl of mussels. Drowning in butter. Okay. Uh, I don't uh, like mussels, but sure, uh, I'll, I'll, no, follow, I'll, follow, yeah. I'll play in this space. So you're like going, oh, nom, 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 oh, 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 I'm so buttery. So decadent, yes. Uh, and you're covered in butter. Yeah, and the hands will be covered in butter. Yeah, now butter. Not sticky. It, it's not sticky. It's greasy. It's greasy. It, it, it feels kind of the same, though, on mm. the face and the hands. Ah, so it's not just... It's, it's really not just, everything. It's, it's messy yeah. boss. Messiness. Yeah. It's, it's that feeling of you've got shit all around your mouth. It's yeah. that feeling I know of your what hands you mean, are yeah. drenched. And particularly, post getting married... Oh, I'm, I'm sure no. you guys. I'm so them. paranoid about the wedding ring. Yeah. is just this little magnet slash reservoir of messy, sticky juice. Yeah, and mm. even when you wash your hands and you come out, you're like, oh no, there's still a shit ton of yeah. fucking hot sauce trapped <laughs> in there. What Beautiful, you... save that. <laughs> How are you save eating? that for later? <laughs> How are you eating? How are you eating? It just drips down your hand, and the fourth finger. The yeah. wedding finger, that's mm. where it goes. That's where the juice goes. It yeah. always goes on that's the fourth. That's for the, the, re the reservoir, as you say. The that's reservoir. Where it, yeah. The juice yeah. reservoir. Yeah. I fucking hate it. Yeah. So sometimes I'll take the wedding ring off to eat. Yeah, that's sensible. Yeah. And then, but then it's like... But then there's nothing to what, stop you, it. You know it's only a matter of time before you swallow that ring. Oh, it is. Yeah. Definitely. That's definitely happening. In the frenzy. Point. Yeah. You know, like... <laughs> the meat frenzy. Yeah. What's the... Well, I've got two questions. Okay, sure. What's the stickiest slash messiest thing you've ever had that's made you so, so self-conscious and what is the sticky slash messiest thing you would eat in public now two questions that's two powerful questions i feel like i had some wings once a long mm. time ago and this is where the whole thing was born out of like wings are the worst example of this because sure. you literally can't eat them in any other way than getting your hands covered in it no. mm. and they had this sort of like kind of barbecue kind of spicy yeah very sticky but very spicy sauce sure. so not only is it all over you because yeah. you just can't help it but you can feel it on your skin because it's spicy so it's tingling and everything yeah so that was probably the trigger yeah i don't know when that was but it was a while ago what would i have now what would you have now? what would you what's your limit yeah what's your limit it's my limit probably something like a burger right that's not nothing which is not yeah. bad <laughs> but this is my point because even a burger right if it's one if it's a bit sloppy it starts to fall apart. Yeah, it does happen. your hands. It does happen. Yeah, because because it's like it's like two tier, isn't it? Because like getting like a big sloppy hand, yeah. that's not great. No, mm. but then like that's marginally better than having like a big sloppy face. Big sloppy face. Yeah, yeah. Big sloppy face is worse, and you can manage a big sloppy face with a burger typically, mm. but the hand is still enough. Yeah. Like. Or the worst case scenario when it's like, as you say, sloppy hand, sloppy face. How am I going to clean this? Now what do I do? I can't do anything. Yeah. And then you go to get a serviette yeah. and you cover that with shit. Show that. And the first one you grab then. is just ruined. So yeah. you fucking bin that, yeah. grab another one, you know. Yeah. I feel this quite intensely. I, 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 I yeah, agree with you. 100%. Yeah. I feel yeah. this way about, you know when ribs turn up and you're like, oh, you're sold ribs. ribs. Example. That are like, you're just like, oh, they fall off the boat and they just don't. They just don't. You're chewing away at gristle. And, yeah, but you've and got to hold. You've got to hold them then. Yeah, like ones that are cooked. Properly, Ribs might be worse actually yeah. than wings. Yeah, if they're cooked properly, they'll fall off the bone and the bone will be clean. And you don't have to do anything. Normally, they'll show up and you're just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, these aren't these aren't gonna fall off yeah. and I'm gonna have to pick these up. Yeah. Yeah. I just though. don't. I just don't get them. Yeah, I, I like. I like the I, taste. I love ribs if they're cooked properly. Yeah. I love ribs, but I just won't bother because of the risk. Yeah, yeah but you. But you're a big barbecue boy. Sure. Yeah, a you, big like, you like a barbecue, barbecue sauce, don't you? I do. A triple yeah. B. Yeah. yeah. I like barbecue sauce. Yeah. This is actually speaking to me quite a lot. Oh, okay. In the same way that, like, I, I think I could probably count on both hands the amount of times I've actually had ribs in my life. Like, yeah. ever. Me too. Like, yeah. I think mostly, I could count on one hand. Mostly for this reason. Because, like, yeah. Yeah. I exactly. was, I, I, I was, you know. Um, for me, it's a knife and a fork and nothing else. And, yeah, you know, I always get very like even now. You've got to, you've got to yeah. like, you've almost got to ask the the servant. I was going to say <laughs> the way the way you waiter. Answer, guy. <laughs> say say. Uh, I was going to say server. And servant, I went, come on, I went from server to servant in my head, and I thought, no, I know it's not that. Probably shouldn't say that. It's waiter, um, garçon. But you've got to say to them, look, are these cooked? properly are yeah. they going to fall off the boat or am i going to have to work at this am i going to be a messy boy yeah i don't want to be a sticky messy boy i don't want to not be again that kind of boy not after last time not after what happened before not after I, the incident i get the uh the triple anxiety about stuff getting stuck in my teeth oh yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely really eating is a chore it's oh a it's hard chore. work yeah, yeah it's yeah. just liquidize everything that's why i always order more or less the same thing yeah <laughs> when i go to like my, our regular let's say our regular restaurant as yeah. an example mm. i pretty much will order from two different dishes because I know what I'm getting. I quite often do that. Because quite often, like for me, a night out at, at a restaurant, the exciting mm. thing about it is that there's a particular meal that I know I love and yeah. I'm excited to have that. Yeah. It's not necessarily like, oh, because I think for some people, the experience of going to a restaurant is, I could have anything on this Trying menu. something new. But it's like, okay, I get that. 
Mm. But so often it's more like I'm pre-excited for this one specific yeah. thing that I know is fucking amazing and I can't make it home. Yeah. That's what I get excited about. Like recently, Ali and I went out to dinner in the sushi restaurant in Cool Town, UK. Oh. Uh, and they have this. We're so cultured this episode. We really it's, are. It's unreal. Very, yeah, very I'm, cultured. I'm so people. impressed with us. That was fucking news. And my my main main was a volcano sushi roll, which had a been volcano sushi roll. Yeah, which had been deep fried oh. in batter. Yeah, and then and then sauced and filled on with top. cheese. Filled with and cheese. served on a hot plate. And then sauce. dipped in fondue. Yeah. Sauced with what? Hot sauce? It was like spicy sriracha mayo nice. and, and some sriracha. Oh, that wow. Wow. That, it was that sounds messy. Astonishing. But I, uh, well, because it's a little sushi segment, oh, just see. pick one up at a time, glom straight. Oh, I thought I was going to like a big thing. Yeah. It's a long roll, but it's cut up into is, bits. Uh, is the chopstick the best cure for this? This, yeah. this may be why I gravitate towards Eastern foods, right? Because yeah. the chopstick, oh, what a way. Take a small piece, mm, straight no, no, in the mouth, doesn't yeah. touch any other part of my body. Yeah. Clean eaten. Mm. Clean I'm, eaten. I'm very glad that I learned to use chopsticks effectively. Yeah. That has been a, a revolutionary thing. An elegant mm. way to eat. Yeah. And the right way. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I totally, I'm 100% with you on this. Brilliant. Like, this has been, it's, mm. but, it, but it's been wild hearing y you say this because I have never guessed that you feel this way. Really? About, about self Because I look like horrific. <laughs> 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 You just look like you're enjoying it. Did he unwrap yeah. that sandwich? Yeah. That's probably best not to Oh, think. Nick's a sticky boy again. Don't worry. Yeah, I yeah. do give off sticky boy energy. I'll yeah. give you that. Yeah. But I'm very much not one. Sure. Mm. I avoid this at home by, you know, everything I... I you know, always knife and fork. You're always you knife know. and fork. Mm. Uh, very far away from my face. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't... Or we, tidy sandwich. We don't make a lot of big saucy things at no. home, I think. Yeah. I'm constantly told by my wife, Liz... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That I've got something on my face. <laughs> really? And it's usually sauce. Like a toddler, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Constantly. Constantly. Like it happened today. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> it did. It I did. feel like that would never happen to me because I'm so infinitely aware yeah. of anything on my face. Yeah. That no, I, I, all I, the time. it wouldn't go unnoticed for me. Like, like it happens a lot. We were now talking that I think about, about it. We were talking about the Greg's sausage bap. Sure. Which I had recently, one of those. And all they, all they put in it, it's got sausages in it and a bit of ketchup. That's all they put. And you, however, don't, you don't have to have the ketchup. You don't, but I like it with ketchup. With ketchup. Um, very clean bap. So you like it? You like Icarus? Like I know, flying too I know. close to the sun. Yeah. But like, you, like, no, like, you didn't have to have ketchup. No, no, true. But true. this is this is a line that is usually a very mm. safe line to sit behind, right? Because it's the they bap. Don't put too much. The in bap it. fully yeah. encases everything within uh, it, right? Yeah. yeah. But then. They fucked it somehow. I don't know what they did, <laughs> but it just, I took a bite and it squirted no! out the back all over my fucking hand. Oh. It just ruined the whole thing for yeah. me. And I love that bap. Yeah, and ketchup's bad. Ketchup this, is bad. Yeah, it, ketchup it, it, is sticky. It's, it's sticky and it's, it's sticky yeah. and it's messy. Yeah. And it's got a grip to what it. What do I do then? In public, mm. I just like lick my hand like, oh, oh, oh. fucking hell, I'm not a beast. Well, I am kind of, but. You should carry, do you carry wipes? I should carry wipes, yeah. but I typically, you know, order stuff that I hope won't need the fucking wipes. I'm saying wipes. this like someone who carries wipes. I don't carry wipes. You will be carrying, you will wipes. Be carrying wipes. Yeah. Liz carries wipes yeah. and gives them to me, which yeah. he says there's something on my face, mm. which so there is. You will be, you will have to have wipes on you. When, oh, soon, when, yeah. You know, soon. Well, yeah, we've been stockpiling. The incident happens. Stockpiling, yeah. stockpiling wipes. nappies and wipes. That's wise. I say stop. We're going to need them. Yeah, you'll but work through. We we buy wipes and nappies now whenever we go shopping. Because we're having a baby. Oh, congrats! Not, not for any other reason. Oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, congratulations! Yeah, thank you very much. Stockpiling yes. them is an interesting choice. Stockpiling is the wrong word, but certainly. <laughs> no, that makes up. me sound bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, hoarding. We well, got to pick up the dead newts with something, John. Oh, that's true. <laughs> You're using nappies <laughs> to pick touching up touching it with my with my homeowner hands. I get very I get very sticky hands when I pick up newts. <laughs> They're quite grimy little boys. I, I have no idea. They're, they're I've slimy, never seen one. Slimy, grimy yeah. boys. We have a couple of frogs in the pond. Yeah. Wait, he's not protecting my pond, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He can. He can. Because you've. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> put it in the. Put it, put stop it, John. Put it in the WhatsApp group. Just put it in the group. Yeah. We should have a little WhatsApp. Actually, we do. Technically, we have a yeah. Facebook. Group. Why don't we have we a do. WhatsApp group? Because there was a time when Facebook seemed less evil. It's weird that it's we're all owned we, by we the as same a social group. group and as us three have Facebook Messenger groups, not WhatsApp groups. I have a shitload of Facebook Messenger groups, and then I have a shitload of WhatsApp Messenger yeah. groups. And every now and then, a message will come through from one party. And for mm. some reason, sometimes it's WhatsApp, and other times, some... what, yeah. what, do I, what do I do? Why do I, I do this? I've we, shifted, should, we should shift yeah. to WhatsApp. Well, it's funny, because yeah, uh, I both of you, actually, I occasionally message you both on both platforms. Yeah, Although I, I think have, I occasionally message I've you. I've tried to move away from messaging you, Nick, on Facebook Messenger. 
Okay. Because I think... Uh, yes, you, I've noticed you've been WhatsApping You tend more. not to see them sometimes. But no, I, think... I yeah, it's weird with my I alerts. Don't, yeah, I don't I always. Yeah. yeah. I normally get alerts to WhatsApp. basically the same damn program. Yeah, because WhatsApp's owned by Facebook. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. At some point, they're just going to fuse, aren't they? I had a... I, 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 I... I, I'm not like an active Facebook user, but I pop in to like look at the pages mm, uh, sure. to uh, see if I had any messages, that sort of thing. To check so, uh, hate mail from our fans. Indeed. Yeah. So I, I am in like... Okay, uh, very occasionally. <laughs> uh, and, and, and we always respond really quickly. We do. Yeah. We're very good. Within six to 12 months. Good damage control. So I uh, I pop into Facebook and I was into uh, you know Facebook and, uh, oh, the Facebook, other day. Yes. And I got a, a little pop-up saying, would you take a moment to... Fill in Ugh. a meta survey. What the? No. I, as in, like you know, the company. The company. Oh, meta. I see. Yes. And yes, I was yes, like, yes. Uh, okay, mm. I'll buy. I'll, I'll buy. I'll buy. Let's see what this is. And all the questions were like, uh, on a scale of, I'm dying yeah. to, very much agree. Uh, <laughs> do you feel that meta benefits you? Oh, a, you know, not, not at all. Yeah, not I would really say especially. I would say it neither benefits nor nor you know hampers me well it was there were quite a few questions and like i i breezed through it pretty quickly but it was like uh do you feel that uh like meta gets in the way of like you fulfilling your basic tasks as a human being and i was like uh well no not really actually yeah. Yeah. get in the way no yeah. only, only because i don't really use it and then it's like do you think meta is like a, a net good in the world is that no no <laughs> like yeah I, I, obviously not i took i took the time to be so egregiously anti like uh, every mm. question i went out of my way to say like, no you are awful yeah, like, yeah you're yeah. awful make this very clear and then i think as punishment oh, yeah. i went back to my news feed and it was literally nothing uh, nothing but suggested posts Wankers. i did not see a single post from uh anyone i i'm actually friends with i love it if they'd encoded that into the server yeah, yeah. just punish me for that would actually negative. give me more respect for meta like if uh, if they were like if unleash anyone, the algorithm. Yeah, if anyone says no to these specific questions, yeah, uh, then ruin them. Take them, ruin take them. them. Take them to church. <laughs> one, one of the questions, no, no joke, was like, uh, uh, please, you know, rate the following statement, and it's like, uh, you know, from strongly agree to strongly disagree, and it's like, Meta is generally world leading when it comes to in innovations in technology. No, and just no. Yeah, like, like so I what mean, does that so, even mean? So, yeah. leading fucking question, isn't it? What yeah. the, like. Your social media platform, your place for people to post pictures of their dogs and holidays on, mm. that's it. How can that possibly be technologically world leading yeah. in any way at all? I know. And, and, and even even if I wasn't talking about like a, a company I actively hate, they're objectively not leading anything. They're just no. following. Yeah. It's like they're like, oh, AI, that's fun. Yeah. Let's, let's oh, have, TikTok, let's, let's do just that. do that. Yeah. Oh, YouTube, let's just do that. Like li literally everything they do is just copying. Yeah. Oh, God. I thought we were talking about barbecue sauce. Yeah. Sloppy boy. Sloppy, messy boy. Anyway, that's gonna, it, really. I just matter. don't like being a sloppy, messy boy. I agree. Mm. I agree with that. I agree quite aggressively, actually. That's I'm so glad. awful. I'm glad I yeah. could resonate with you both yeah. today. 10 is the most I agree, and I am a 10. Would you click on the open mouth smiley face to strongly agree with this hate? No, because that makes me think of mouths, and I feel like it'd be too messy. Yeah, it's, it's a little emoji, but he's got sloppy mess all What's, around his what? face. I would click on the rolling on the floor laughing emoji. Yeah. Because that's a good one. I'd click on the one where it's like... Is he's, that an emoji? He's melting into a puddle. You know that emoji? What? It's like, yeah. it's, it's this new one I see around, and it's like, he's like rocked to the side, and he's melting into what like a buttery puddle. What, the one what I, you, the, what's the emoji you use most often? Um, Probably the like laughing smiley crying. face. I use the... Uh, the grimace one. Oh, Someone yeah. says something oh, awkward. Mm. Like, yeah. like, that is a good one. I, I use that one a lot. I'm, I'm such a granddad that I still type colon bracket oh, to make like a smiley face. Do and you? sometimes it correct. It changes into an emoji. No, not when always. it doesn't, you no. look foolish. Apparently that is officially something that boomers do. So I'm an old oh, I'm yeah. an old man now. Oh, well. It's no saving uh, you. I've got hate. Go on, then. Um I hate that I know this, but uh, oh. from the same vein of thought that brought you bone smashing oh uh, no, it's not quite the same because it's, oh. it's also very stupid and it's very internet <laughs> i hate the th the fluoride stare what yeah i, I don't know this is just trash i think we're all going to get stupider by talking about this oh, okay yeah. so um you know conspiracy theorists oh yes. oh yeah they're or, or, they're, or, are, or are they conspiracy theorists is it all the, is, red is that pill? what they want us to think is it all the truth are they is that what they want us to think i don't think hashtag, we landed on the moon hashtag newt, newt. hashtag newt gate send, send we didn't newt. land on the moon but newts did
Newts could have. Newts easily could. Well, they're not in my fucking field, so no, they, might, and they might be on the moon. Not with a fucking 5G tag going up, because no. it will fucking electrify their that, brains. That'll have them. That'll turn them into a melting emoji. Little, Sorry, John, please little, continue. Little, little <laughs> shit. Well, okay. So, um, so obviously, uh, conspiracy theories, just the very concept mm. of them. That's Great very, stories. That's very much in our uh modern sure. dialogue about it sadly yeah so so we so we know that even if you're not a conspiracy theorist even if you don't know someone who's a conspiracy theorist mm. you're probably like you're culturally aware that there are people out there who are like oh the earth is flat sure sure or whatever you know 5g is turning newts into like into uh, uh, skateboarding rad dudes it's just, it's yeah. fucking rad dudes yeah <laughs> Um, but no, so, um, so apparently the, the, uh, conspiracy theorists themselves are starting to get, oh, like, they're, God, they're becoming we... culturally aware themselves that go. people aren't taking them seriously. Yeah, the doi. They're so, becoming socially aware. Well, not aware enough to, yeah. you know. Change their opinions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I climbed a mountain and now I have a petri dish of water. I'm going to prove to you how the earth is flat. Uh, Marvellous, yeah. Um, <laughs> But Isn't it the case that the flat earthers like do experiments and quite often they prove that the earth is round? There has been a classic example yeah. of, of exactly that. Um, I love that. It's very... It's actually... Yeah, there's two major examples out there that, that were filmed Brilliant. in documentaries. That's it. And that's they sort incredible. of go, ah, oh, hum, when it happens. <laughs> and that's about it. I can't it. really explain that. Mm, I'll have to go away and think for a little while. <laughs> yeah. I love but yeah, that. anyway, so you're saying that the conspiracy theorists are becoming aware that people of aren't... the fact that people aren't really paying yeah. so thinking I, that they're... I'm not even saying that, like, they would a agree with each other, because one one group might be like, well, we're flat earthers, yeah. and the other ones might be like, oh, moon we're... Landing we're moon... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, or that other one... There's so many th fun ones about the moon, aren't there? Like, the moon is a hoax. The moon is a hoax? There's, there, there's a... Oh, there's, a, there's something for everything. Yeah, there's a school of thought that says the moon doesn't actually exist. Ah. Uh, and there's also... What does that mean? And there's also the guy who was like, uh, there is no sky, it's like a shell. Yeah, like a firmament. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and that stars are holes, like, poked in it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the point is... Let's go. Uh, a lot of interesting thoughts. I'm not sure how these people get dressed, honestly. <laughs> conspiracy theorists have... Their own memes, mm. if you will. Sure. And apparently enough of them have recognized that they have had encounters in their life where they have been, that they've zeroed in on someone, maybe uh, it's in a pub, right. maybe it's at a party, maybe it's in a WhatsApp group, uh, and they have gone on at great lengths. To, I'm explaining to you, Chris no. Ray. No, no, I'm going to tell you for half an hour uh, about how there is no moon. Okay. The moon doesn't exist. It's a hoax perpetrated by the liberal media yeah. or yeah. something like that. And they evangelize and speak yeah. constantly for half an hour. And 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 now you know you're trapped in this social mm, interaction. Nightmare. You can't get out of it, but you're also a polite person. Sure. Yeah. So the smart I thing to do would be tell this person to fuck off. Yeah. But you don't. So what do you do? You mm. just stare. Yes. And apparently enough oh, right. conspiracy theorists have noticed that like every time they talk about the truth, uh, <laughs> they just get like a blank stare. <laughs> and they're calling it, in a meme, the fluoride stare. Are they calling it that because they think we're taking fluoride in our water? Yes, because we're also brainwashed oh, because see. of the fluoride in our in our tap water. That feels convenient the, that they we, would call it that. Yeah. So See, at first, yeah. I kind of loved it. Because it was like the the minusculest amount of self awareness mm. that made them realise that practice to, to the extent that enough of them had experienced it, yeah. that clearly a lot of people were just not buying their bullshit. That was why I loved it. And then I shifted get hard truckers gear change into hating it because they have now attributed that lack of awareness of mm. the pub populace, not to the fact that they're talking bullshit, but to the fact that we're all brainwashed by fluoride in the water. It's, and it's just doubled down. It's quite impressive that they found a way to. To somehow yeah. make it about them again. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, quite... They made it into a new conspiracy theory. If they have identified these fluoride people, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why bother engaging Talking with them? them? Well, you do, you do wonder about. But they're that, not don't interested, you? mate. Yeah, for whatever it's reason. It's a little bit. There's a little bit not of like evangelism, religion mm. kind of aspect to it here because they're they're trying to save us, right? They're trying to wake us up to the truth. You don't want to be a sheeple, man. You need to understand the deep state is trying to fuck with your mind, dude. What? If, let, let's say, let's say, oh shit. Let's say, let's say they're correct. Now, bear in mind that's going to be a little gassy, that beer. Yeah, that's what, that, is it gassy? Little yeah. beer, that one. I'll do the old three tap. Okay. Play along at home. Is this going to. Oh, oh, no, no, I didn't no, do that. didn't work at all. It's almost like that was a fucking nonsensical I think, idea. I think but, it, I think it I've never actually that's done a conspiracy the three theory. Tap. I think. Never, yeah, I think the three tap is. 
Um, let's say they're correct about, let's say, the moon. I don't know. The moon's not real. Fucking whatever. I haven't been there. How would that... Why would that matter? Um, Ult- well, ultimately, to me, a normal guy who's going about my life, never going to go to the moon, whatever. I do think why this does is, that, why this does that is matter? probably the most pertinent question you could ask them. Yeah. Because so often they argue and expect to fight on the front end of the argument, mm. which is the Earth is flat or the moon isn't real. Yeah. And then if you go, well, okay... Yeah. I'll, I'll buy it for a second. Yeah. Why are they covering it up? Yeah. What's the reason? Why are they covering up and why should I care? Yeah. Because yeah. like the, 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 the conspiracy, like, I don't know, the thing at the heart of the conspiracy mm. is almost less important than the conspiracy than itself. the fact there is conspiracy. But then you do have to ask yourself, but what is the purpose? Because that's really the, be- the most beautiful way of taking their arguments apart, right? Yeah. Is that people only really ever do shit for personal gain, monetary yeah. gain or power, right? So how does any one party or person benefit from lying to the world mm. and telling them that it's flat? Yeah. How does anyone benefit from that? Well, you say, like, that's where the argument falls apart and you're right, but obviously, like, not in a convincing way... That no. would ever convince them. Not, not that would work on yeah. them. No. But they don't ever have an answer for that question either. That I've heard. No. Well, I guess, you, I, 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 I guess from their weird magical thinking, <laughs> you just kind of go like, oh, yeah, but, Matt, but it's about power, isn't it? It's like, about power, that, that's how, mean? I don't what does that even mean? Yeah. The thing is, is there stuff that's been covered up? Probably. Mm. Somewhere There's along probably the line. some shit that's been covered up. And people should be challenged, I think. Certain people should be challenged, politicians particularly, where appropriate. However, stop making shit up. But it's, just, it's just like, why, why make that the conspiracy theory? Why make it something so outlandish like that? Yeah. And why die on that hill? I know. I, yeah. I think it's just for attention. It's because it's, you know, you know, really, that that's bollocks. Yeah. And, you know, I want to make my life a bit flat. more interesting. All right. I mean, why make that up? And, and even if it is... What difference does it make? I know. It's you're, fact- you're, you're just saying conspiracy theories for the sake of saying conspiracy to theories. To be honest, actually, I think that's probably the best thing you could ever say to them because they want this to be the most important thing in the world. Yeah. And mm. if you argue with them on the level of thinking they're wrong, mm. then all you're doing is meeting them with the relevance of the importance of their argument. I bet they love it when if, people get angry. Yeah. But yeah, if, you, love if you, Chris Ray, sat down with one and mm. spat back with, I don't fucking care. Yeah. They would, like... be, they would be fucking lost. Well, it would be so good. <laughs> you're, or, so, so, so yeah. you're, not, you're not actually saying I agree with you. You're not no. saying you disagree with you. You're just saying it is irrelevant I, to I, me. I, I feel okay, like yeah, if, yeah, it's flat. I don't care. I feel like if I was in a bar <laughs> and I'd had a, I'd had a couple of drinks, let's say, oh. and someone came to me and just sat down and just started saying, hey, hey, you know what, hey, you heard about the other fact. I, would gen- I feel like I genuinely, certainly after a couple of drinks, would just go, I'm going to stop you. I don't care. <laughs> genuinely, I feel like I would probably do like, that. So, like, so what? Yeah. Okay, so the earth's flat. All right. And I'd send I'd send them on their way. It is fascinating how you'd think, I don't know, maybe there would only be like three conspiracy theories. I maybe I'm I'm just picking a number out of my head, but it's the fact that they're so they're always like splitting. They can't yeah. even agree internally. Yeah. yeah. Like they're like charities. Because there's the flat earthers. Yeah. You know it, the fact they have to disagree with each other probably tells you all you need to know. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I need to disagree with something, someone, somewhere, it's somehow, science has a consensus. all the time. It's more important that I have a, a hill to die on. It's more important that I have an to... individual opinion that makes yeah. me unique. Yeah, that's because it. Because I swear there's one variant of Flat Earth 3, uh, correct me if you've heard this, which is about the idea that... It was flat, but yes. they curved it back. The Earth was Sensational. Flat. And... And and a group had a theory that if they could <laughs> dig a trench, Operation Dateline Dig. Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, yeah, yeah, they could dig a trench from like the North Pole to the yeah. South Pole along the Dateline. It would pop back out Why? into being flat again. Why? And we'd all be catapulted into space. So their reasoning <laughs> was. I bet, actually... I bet they did that for free as well. I bet all the contractors did that for free. They actually had a why, and they and they signed a non-disclosure agreement. Bet and... you. Their basis for their why was they curved the Earth into mm. a ball mm. so that yeah. satellites could be put in orbit to sure. transmit brainwashing media messages sure. to the populace. Which that the, you Earth, couldn't that have the Earth done. was once flat, but now is no longer. No, just just brainwashing shit. You know that's that's irrelevant. Yeah. But when the Earth was flat, they couldn't communicate apparently to everyone with satellites. Mm. So they needed to curve it into a ball so they could get all around it. I don't really get their logic. What year did that happen? Uh, it wasn't uh, that long ago. Would it not have been cheaper to just make a, I don't know, like a helicopter fly in a circle rather uh, than a satellite? Because I imagine the point of a satellite is it's orbiting mm. a a global, uh, sorry, uh, 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 a cosmic 
heavenly body that Indeed. happens to be spherical. But yes, yes. if the Earth was flat originally, it actually makes your life easier. Yeah, you don't much have to, easier. You, don't yes, have yes. To you can send satellites up at key points yeah, yeah, along no. along the line. Just, Balloons. Yeah, no, I, have, I do have a counter argument to all of this. Oh, yeah. shut up. Yeah. Oh, sure. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, could, you could literally just put a satellite in the sky every, let's say, I don't know, 10 kilometers. Yeah. Cover the whole Earth. Isn't yeah. there also like some debate among, I say debate, like some some squawk, squawking between the flat earthers some some think the earth is flat mm. but then it's surrounded by like an a very high ice wall ice wall yes which then like extends kind of like infinitely yeah there's there's varying ideas so there's an idea that there's ice that's super super high mm. and yeah. that that's essentially antarctica and that it's just ice infinitely in every direction then yeah. there's the idea that there's an ice wall and then beyond that there is just land in oh, okay. every direction. And then the final I, one I've heard of is that there's an ice wall at the edge of a disc and we are moving upwards, I think, through space. Spi spiraling. And spi always spiraling. Always spiraling, always spiraling yeah. Um, and the ice wall prevents water from falling off the disc. Yeah. yeah. Essentially. But of oh, course and then there's a fourth one, which I heard really recently, which is fascinating, actually. I kind of like this one, which is that there's... Um, um, so we are the centre circle in a massive disc. There's an ice wall around ours. And then there's another ice wall with loads of other continents and mm. oceans inside that. And then beyond that, there's another now hoop of ocean oh, with okay. more continents in it and an ice wall that's around kind of, that. That's kind of cool, actually. It's yeah. Kind of cool, because if we cross beyond our first ice wall, we'll find new yeah. continents. Well, I mean, like, like why yeah. why, aren't yes. we, why aren't we pursuing this? Sounds that like, sounds yeah. like something we should do. I yeah. think. So, it, so, uh, well, so we've dug a tunnel to curve the Earth, but we're not going to go through the ice wall. So I think these are two separate beliefs. I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you see, you, well, now you, just made a, you made a fool of you yourself. Look there, yeah. Now you look like yeah. I look foolish. A fool. You'd be I kicked know. out of a Discord group for saying something like no! that. No. Yeah. The funny thing is about the, this fluoride. Fluoride's there? Yeah, fluoride. Fluoride. Yeah. fluoride. Yeah, let's bring it back. Yeah, yeah. fluorine's there. No, fluorine's a, uh, fluorine's a element. Fluoride's a uh, uh, compound. That's what I said. Yeah. Um, so, um, so let's say you're familiar enough with this stare. That you that you know this person's not engaged with what you're saying. Why do you keep talking? You've got to get unless it, unless it's just that you like the sound of your own voice and oh, you don't really care about the cause you pre yeah. pretend you're advocating. It's just a way to insult the sheep or masses, right? Yeah. It's just a way to go. These people are so fucking stupid. I got the fluoride stare again the other day. If, if you're a sensible person, you'd be like, "This person's a lost cause. Yeah. That's such a shame. It we must move on with our crusade." With our crusade. Whereas they just like. Oh no, we'll create a meme and we'll just keep talking. Yeah. In many ways, the internet was a mistake. Yes. Because, I, I like, in olden times, if there was that one guy down in the pub mm. who thought that, like, you know. Whack job. That, uh, you know, sheep, you know, walked on two legs at night yeah. or something like that. That'd be cool. That would just be like Crazy <laughs> Steve. And, like, and yeah, he's got some weird ideas, but, you know, if you need discount meat, yeah. he'll help you out. He de he would still do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, but th then. Usually the sheep. But then Crazy <laughs> Steve got onto Reddit and he found yeah. that, statistically, as big as the planet is and the amount of you know, people mm. living on it, he can find 200 people oh, who sure. think the exact same thing that he And does. even if they didn't originally, they're so lonely that they will. Yeah. Yes. For company. Yeah, it's just nice to belong to something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually thinking back to it now. I remember we were at a Comic-Con, I want to say in 2016, 17 maybe? It was just after Trump mm. had gotten in. Trump. And we had a guy come by the table and you often get this thing where they'll say like, uh, What's all this then? We'll say, oh, you know, this is a comic. And before sure. you can finish, they go like, oh, yeah, I've got an idea for a comic. And oh, go, yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess we're we here are. now. Let's hear it. And yeah. this guy just uh, talked at Lucy and I for what felt like an age yeah. uh, about his joint comic slash experimental album he was going to make. Oh, God. Which was going to expose the New World Order and how Trump was really great because he was finally going to expose the lizards. Oh, the li well, that's a whole thing in that itself. Like the thing. lizard people. Was this guy British? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and he, and he's and isn't and, it weird that none of that stuff happened? Wow, hasn't well, happened yet. Yeah, hasn't happened yet. Yes, no, they did only have four years. Yeah, yeah. So th there's no reason why it should have happened. <laughs> yeah. You see, it's kind of weird because four years, five years, whatever it was. Four yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that that's that's the really that's the really paradoxical thing, isn't it? Because mm. at the same time, he is he was is. Tis was. Tis was. Who remembers Tis was? Tis was. Yeah, uh, Trump, you know, is a saviour figure. He yeah. was going to, like, you know, expose he, the lizard people. He and, saved us all, right? Still waiting on that evidence of fraud. And, uh, and yet, at the, same, well. at the same time, uh, is uh, helpless before this global cabal yeah. of lizard people. So yeah. I'd be like, pick a lane. You know, is he... Newt know, people? Newt people. Could it be Newt people? <gasps> oh. My God. It all makes sense. It all kind of falls into place when you say Newt you know, It's instead. all connected. Yeah. It's all connected. That's the thing. 
Yeah, all good. Well, there we go. Well, I yeah, that. I could bang on all day about that. I fucking hate that. But yeah, I, I just send them on their way. I think yeah, you you are actually a bit more direct than most people. I uh, certainly are, if I was in the pub, let's say. Yeah. Maybe if I was like in church or something. I don't... <laughs> and Jerry in church. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, you church. after what you did. No, They're yeah. not going to let you to the I'll, burn, I'll burn if I go in the church. Um, but also, like, you know, generally, I think if anyone approached you to, to start talking about such a theory, you would be quite drunk. So a fluoride stare would be quite hard because you wouldn't be able to focus on it. Yeah. No. yeah. Exactly. The wandering fluoride stare. Yeah. <laughs> He's just looking past me. Woo! Yeah. Uh, you got a love? Yeah. Chuckles? Yeah. yeah so go. you mentioned earlier that my dog pissed on a crab. <laughs> um, That's very funny. That it's true as well. Yeah. That's the funny thing. I think it's it was. I think it was dead. Crap. It was certainly dead afterwards. Um, <laughs> in a stream like that. So we went to Cornshire this week. Cornshire. Cornshire, no, UK. Cornshire, UK. So my love is taking my dog on holiday. Oh, <laughs> oh that's very, that's very wholesome. I like that is that. wholesome. It was cool. So yeah. we don't take. We have taken her on holiday once before with us. Normally oh, she'll I go didn't in the realize. kennel. Oh, okay. And that was that was sort of. Uh, it was called Salt Ash. We took her before, which was more a gateway to Cornwall than Cornwall itself. So it wasn't really a a big thing. I don't care. Fine. <laughs> the floor is there. Uh, <laughs> um, this time we took her on a proper holiday to Cornwall. We got, just got back today, and it was lovely. Oh, we took her to the beach. She I thought was... you were looking relaxed. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Mm. Apart from the newt stuff. Yeah, well, yeah very yeah, angry yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, she had a lovely time. We had a lovely time. Had some good food. Had some nice walks on the beach. Um, dog's just living her best life. She's absolutely shattered now. She's just been playing in the sea for two days. And it's awesome to see that kind of thing when you sort of don't live by the sea, especially. Yeah, we had a lovely time. Oh, so you just like your heart is overflowing with the joy of seeing your dog happy. I wouldn't say overflowing, but certainly certainly less hateful Aww. than usual. Oh, The one pain in the ass is that she pants in your ear the whole way there. Oh, because so she sits on the back seat. Yeah. If there's one caveat to that, it's that she pants all the way there. Yeah. All the way back. But it is worth it. And is she really like loud? panther Very or is loud. her head somehow close well, to you, you know, while you're driving so you, well so if you're in the front seat i'm driving or liz is driving we share the driving but the dog's head is in between the two of us sure <laughs> so yeah. she puts her head through because she wants to look out the window but it's <laughs> all but the way all the way genuinely all the way wow. and all the way back wow so that's three quite, hours that's there three fun. hours back mm. so we did make stops as you might appreciate what, at just different to, places just to walk just, her, just, get just to just to stop that happening jeez louise so yeah so um but apart from that it was it was cool is she generally quite well behaved in a car yes yeah. she doesn't do anything else she just she just sort of sits there and pants mm. but she's usually quite good hmm. what what a dog makes of a car journey is it like it is it the dog. blowing their mind I feel because if you sort of go to stroke her, she stops immediately. Stops panting, so I think it's an attention thing. Oh sure. I think oh, she's yeah. just after our attention because we're just concentrating on the road, as you should. You must mm. always concentrate on the you road. You should actually. You must yeah. always concentrate. That's good on the advice, road. actually. Listen up. Listen listeners. up. Listen up, listeners. You must always concentrate on the road. What about like of an evening mm. and like you're on holiday, you're having yeah. a lovely time, yeah. you know, yeah. and you want to go for like uh, an intimate like dinner. Yeah. You know, just you, just you and Liz. Yeah. You know. What happens then? Where, where's where, where, oh the dog comes. Dog comes. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We probably could leave her in with in this case it was Lodge. More reclexa. More reclet absolutely. More reclet. Always more reclet. Reclet for the dog. Always more reclet. We actually We actually had some lovely arancini. That's uh, uh rice balls. Uh, rice balls. That's that. rice balls, that is. That's <laughs> rice balls. <laughs> that's rice balls. That's rice balls. I need that. So that's what we had in Come the on down. in the um this we were on a site sort of thing, like a resort slash a building bar site. thing. Building site, yeah, yeah. exactly. So we we ordered we went there a couple of times ordered some arancini, just just sat around had a nice time had a couple of beers At the that arancini. kind of thing, yeah. But she like when she was a puppy she was a shit for these <laughs> kinds of things she just wouldn't sell and she's not brilliant now but she's much better yeah. So we're able to do those kinds of things with her oh, cool. which is cool. So uh, and she's knackered as I say. Just so. one point I want to drill down on. Uh, yeah. So you and your pregnant wife pissed went for a, a couple of beers pissed on a crab. Um, as well, in, I went for a couple of beers. as in. You you had a few beers. I had some beers. Some beers. For two. Liz had... Uh, yeah, I'm drinking for two. Exactly. Exactly. Liz had a mocktail. <laughs> Sounds like a great holiday. Yeah. <laughs> drinking for two. Drinking for two. Um, Liz had a mocktail. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So that, yeah. Delightful. I didn't, I didn't drink about. during the day. I only drank during the evening. Oh, very, of course. Very, yeah. very restrained. Yeah. We shared the driving. Oh, of course. No, I'm not... Oh, I, don't, I don't doubt that. You've no. got to. No, no I just like the idea of you getting... 
fucking wasted. No, no, uh, wasted would be an exaggeration. But oh, I certainly sure, had yeah. some beers. Merry, I got merry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We stayed up, um, just yeah, just drinking, watching. Um, we watched Race Across the World during the evening Very good. when it got dark. Wow, so that was fun. Mm. Complaining, complaining about nukes, having having walking I'm holidays. I'm so middle aged. Yeah, I know this is delightful. I'm yeah. so middle aged. Yeah, we've changed, but in good ways. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. If you if you own a Labrador, if you're lucky enough to own a Labrador. Why not try Cornwall? Why not try Cornwall? Come on down. They it's need the support. I think friendly. Cornwall. I don't think it's there's Cornwall many tourists down is, there. Yeah, it's catching on. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be big, especially yeah. when they realise there are beaches there. God, I don't think the Cornish know yet. No, I don't. But they're getting so. wise to it. No, they are. Yeah. yeah. They are. God love them. There you go. Short and sweet. Yeah. I like it. I've got short and sweet one as well. Oh, oh here we go. Um, I recently saw a <laughs> a clip of an X Factor performance on TikTok. <laughs> Uh-oh. I never watched X Factor. Before, a Victorian but, child but, but, would but, but, die but, 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 if they had to understand like, that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what I loved about this was the performance was, it might have been that or Britain's Got Talent. I can't remember which one it was. Sure. I can't really tell the difference. One of them. One of yeah. them. They're very, and what I loved about similar. it is that it was a, I'll tell you the performance in a second, yeah. but it was a performance that inherently exhibited no talent at all. Sure. But okay. the audience fucking loved it yeah. and went wild and it left the judges in a very precarious position yeah. because they were watching what was unfolding on the stage knowing that they couldn't really say no to it and yeah. and and give them a big big, big buzzer or whatever because the audience are so into this performance yeah and all it was <laughs> was a guy taking off more and more oh, high vis yeah. jackets this i have seen this so he comes out Wearing a suit. <laughs> he takes his suit blazer off. He's got a high vis underneath. And everyone goes, ha, that's kind of funny. And he does a bit of a dance. And there's some music playing. Takes off the high vis. There's another one underneath. The crowd goes insane. Like, Whoa, <laughs> there's another high vis. Right? Dances a bit more. Maybe you know, milks it a little bit. Maybe, maybe like 15 seconds. Yeah. Goodbye. Unbuttons it as a tease. Oh, there's another one underneath. Brilliant! Like right? it's just constant high visits. Wait, 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 wait! How many high visits are we talking? I think it probably by the end is probably twenty yeah. high visits. It just keeps taking them off, and you can't tell from when he first comes out, or even at any point throughout the performance. He doesn't look chonk. He doesn't no. look like he's got a million high visits. You wouldn't visits. know, you oh, wouldn't know he had all yeah. of those on. Yeah, they must be very fine high visits. And then there's a great moment where about fifteen in, you're thinking. Well, okay, we're all still laughing, and I'm very much still on board. But there's nothing he can do. Oh, it's a pink high vis. It's been it's been oh, fluorescent yellow all the way, and just, then suddenly it's a pink one. Color, yeah. Just when the attention was flagging, yes, yeah, he, he placed yeah, he gets it you again. perfectly, and the crowd just goes wild, and he keeps cutting to the judges, especially Simon Cowell, of course, and they're just like, I don't know what to yeah. do. Because There's no way we can't put we, this guy through. This, but he's doing nothing except taking off high vis jackets. Yeah. And I honestly think he's the greatest hero of our time. I, I watched this when it went out. At the time. Yeah. Um, the guy's from Norway. Really? And he came all the way from Norway <laughs> just, for just to do that. Do they not have a Norway's got talent? <laughs> well, here's the. Th I always uh. say that. It makes me sound racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. I always, I always, th here we go. Bloody <laughs> Norwegians. I, I always think on Britain's Got Talent that the person should either be British or oh, should live in Britain. But he's, he's at least he's, speak he's the language. Now nationalist. Uh, it makes uh, me, it makes me sound proper Brexit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you say it, like when you say it, but otherwise just call the show it. talent. Talent, yeah. Just call it talent. Who's got talent? Well, I'll be honest yeah, with you. Who's got talent? Is I'll, it you? I'll be honest no, with you. we'll move on then. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. There's another word in the in the very concept. Xenophobic. Well, no. <laughs> like, you're taking issue with the Britain part because you're like, they've got to be British. And I'd be like, I think they've got to be fucking talented yeah, well, as well. And I, 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 I would yeah. question whether yeah. anyone... Uh... Quite often you see this first performance mm. and the whole point is if, if he gets through... He then has to develop that act week on week yeah. to a to to a final performance, and as a result, yeah. typically yeah. there's they are, nowhere to go. They are always singers, right? They yeah. they always opt for singers because yeah. singers can sing another fucking song. Yeah. Whereas the high vis guy, what's next? Yeah. It's but not... oh oh oh, but he did prove to us that he can make it a different color. So there's a twist in ah, the tale. So yeah. I, am I assuming they could be orange next time? Am I assuming he didn't get through? I don't actually know. I think he did get through. But then I think what? he, I, th oh, I don't know exactly. What, what did he do? Yeah, yeah what's the I don't. I, yeah. I'll tell you when it happens. I have a feeling that it ends with him getting like a golden buzzer or something to that effect. Yeah, which means that yeah, he automatically gets past. I, I suspect he will be on the live show. They call the live. Is this shows. happening now? No, no, no. This is an old clip. Yeah, no, this this year. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought yeah. it was older than that. I didn't know they were still making. So it's still yeah. it's still happening. So, so the live shows are <laughs> next week. 
Maybe? Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't realise I was as relevant as wow, I was. Wow, you're pretty I thought relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, you... so, so, yeah, I expect you all have got through and I expect yeah. he will be performing. So I'll let you know. But yeah, you, you, keep us updated. You yeah. do wonder about these kind of like one trick pony talent folks. But he proved he could switch it up with the pink one. This is my point. He, yeah. Who knows how he can switch this up? There's only so many colours though. No. Well, I'm not saying it's colour next time. He surprised us with the colour. How would he surprise maybe us? Maybe it's next? not high visits next time. Maybe. Oh, well, you see, that's probably the more... Yeah, maybe it's a different type of clothing. Yeah, it's funny you maybe mentioned like he, he wasn't like super chonk. <laughs> I was picturing him like coming out wearing 400 high vis. No, yeah. No. You, you, you couldn't, couldn't would, tell. You, yeah, you wouldn't have thought he was wearing that many That's why the crowd went wild every time, because they were like, there can't be another one. So like, I remember seeing... It's like, like a matryoshka. I remember seeing like a video of like the, the world record for like the most pairs of underwear worn. <laughs> And it's like this kind of like Glaswegian man who looks like a thumb. And he's just kind of like, and the whole pub's turned out to like cheer him on. That's seven people. And he's wearing like, you know, 58,000 yeah, pairs there. of wide fronts. And, he's, and it's like he's wearing like, it, it, it's colossal. Yeah, he's like, got like a weird hoop yeah. around his hips. And of course he's wearing a t-shirt, but he's not wearing trousers. No, so he can't. It's like, um, does he take them all off? Well, no, he's putting them on. Oh. That's the uh, thing. Like he's, he's What does like, he do afterwards? Die. Yeah. yeah. But surely it's governed... That achievement is governed solely by the size of pants he can get hold of. Yeah, because some of them are like quite big. Big pants. Extra, yeah. extra. But the instant extra he reaches large. a point that no one's manufactured a pant in the size he needs it to be, yeah, it's self and he's done. Self limiting, isn't it? Yeah. And I guess like the, the challenge ceiling. is can he maybe, I don't know what the rules are, mm. but like maybe if like, <laughs> I don't he, think there are rules. If he falls over, yeah. then it's, it's over. Like he That's has to, I mean, he's quite strong calves. They look like a lot of fabric. It was quite heavy. You know what I think the second phase of that uh, competition is how many of those pants can he shit? Yeah. Oh, like, like yeah. Because if you go, like, and then you can get through. How many layers you get? How many through? layers you get? Yeah, through yeah, yeah. With a shit. That'd be good. Yeah, over fifty percent. It's pretty good. Surely it would cut off the circulation to like the your, most important your bottom half. Yeah. You know how we evolved our testicles to be outside of our body for yeah, temperature keep, control. Yeah, to keep them cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, maybe um him not breathing is a good. Maybe is a good thing. True. Yeah. <laughs> I like that element of uh you know uh. You know, it's like uh, a local man, you know, wears 480 pairs of y fronks and breaks mm. world record. We're here with him and his family to talk to them now. And it's just like, oh, God, uh, you know, this guy's doing all right. Uh, and how do you feel about your husband? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, great times. Um, there's like famous. Again, it's just another one of like these viral videos, but an older one. I don't know if it was like on like the Indian version of like Ooh. like maybe India's Got Talent or like Indian X Factor or something like that. And the gimmick was that, you know, it's not a singer, but like it starts, you got like 30 kind of like um relatively buff men not wearing shirts, just come on, come on, stage and we're like mm. and it's like, okay, and uh, you know, please do your talent. And you're like, oh what are they gonna do? Are they gonna do like uh, gymnastics? Yeah. Are they gonna like uh, strong man? Are they gonna strip? Are they gonna dance? And no, and they just their their entire shtick is like the best word I can think of is like self mutilation. Oh what? No. As in like um it, as one, as like on mass, no. these thirty people, like in this perfect display of just like utter chaos, all just start hurting themselves no. in different ways. Like one guy takes out a fluorescent strip light and starts eating it. Let's like take like taking bites out of the thing. Jesus. Someone drives a quad bike over someone else. Uh, <laughs> two guys just like break like um, piping over each other's heads and stuff. And the judges are like screaming and everyone's like, "What the <laughs> fuck is going on?" There's like blood everywhere. It's not an act. No, it's well, just hope. Yeah. I guess put people on stage wherever you do. It's an act now. Yeah, yeah. But, but also it's like how do you how do you top that? I know you can't do that nightly. I know. Yeah, this is it. The main thing about Britain's Got Talent is that I always think Amanda Holden has an incredible talent in herself to make everything about her. <laughs> really? All right, okay. like a little girl. I'm so ignorant. A little yeah. girl turns up, sings incredibly, genuinely has talent, and Amanda Holden just single handedly still makes it about her. Like presses the golden buzzer and then it'll, the close-ups are Amanda Holden going, "Ah oh, yes, this is all because I pressed the golden buzzer." And it's just Good like, God. "You're an awful person." Yeah, but it's a weird show in that I do watch it and I'm aware of it, and you usually watch the live shows a bit each year. But at the same time, I fucking hate it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't have normal TV in my house. Yeah, I've never seen it. no, You're this, one of the this lucky is ones. why I only saw it as a clip. But I just, I absolutely love the fact that. That was all he did. Yeah. yeah. And he forced the judges into a position where they were like, we can't say no. And I feel like the fact that's caught the imagination of TikTok, 
means because it's a public vote, mm. he might might get through. They might yeah. sabotage the vote, and he I might get so. through. I hope so. I remember it's the power of TikTok. God, I remember yeah. reading an arc. I read something fucking ages ago about this guy who he was like a warm up act for like rock bands and mm. stuff. But, he, but his gimmick was like this kind of like weird mutilation stuff again. Like he'd come on stage and he'd like um, drive a nail through his dick. Yeah. You know, or like you know, he'd like um, nail his his ball bag to a plank of wood. Yeah, and like that's pretty cool. That's a statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't do that. E- you, you're not going to get like a, a Las Vegas fixture. That's... You can't do that every night in the same place. I'm the ball bag guy. The that's th- not talent. That's endurance. Yeah, but also it has got endurance. But like that's shocking, and I don't know question mark interesting when you see it yeah. the first time. No one's going to come on to repeat. Cover, yeah. You have to flee the town. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you sell the, the t- you get there are only paid, so many towns. You sell the tickets, you yeah. get paid up front, you come on stage, you escape or gun your nuts. It turns out you're not a singer. <laughs> you escape or gun yourself to a mahogany table. Yeah. And then uh, you flee yeah. and you do it in Ogden. With a table between, between your legs. Yeah, so, yeah, do you flee with the table still attached? <laughs> yeah. Clankety clank. With some wheels on it. Yeah. yeah. There goes six leg Gary. That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I don't know, I eat... Uh, you know, I eat a bag of nails yeah. Yeah, every night. Yeah, cactus. So it's nails. I jam a pine cone up my ass. Well, yeah. And then yeah. sit on a washing machine. Yeah. Anyway, I've got, I've got love. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a love. Wasn't so it? I've, <laughs> I've, uh, it I've, was, yeah. I've uh, fallen down a, a YouTube hole. A well. Of, of oh, I've like fallen you. down a well. And I uh, help can't, me. Can't get it up. Help. Help. Yeah. That's my talent. I'll fall down a well <laughs> every week. Uh, I've gotten into uh, long distance uh, cycling videos. Oh, okay. I mean, I cycle, but I don't. Oh, I cycle. I don't cycle like long distance. No, no. but like I watch. What's long distance? As in from uh, Oxford to oh. Australia. Oh, now how does he get across? What, Australia the water? and Oxford. What? Australia, Oxford. Or the actual Australia. No, from like the UK to Australia. That's insane. That's yeah. to get across the water. That is quite long distance. Yeah. And it kind of like... To Some of it's on a boat. Feel a bit, feel a bit cop- You know, it ends in Singapore. Because he gets oh. to Singapore and then he gets and then he gets like a, a plane to Australia. So he kind of... Oh, like, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's not really... Yeah. All the way to Australia. But like, it's like a... It's on YouTube. It's like an hour and a half. Like, mm. he shot it himself. It took him nearly a year. <sighs> and... Um, he, he, sometimes he started out with a group of five and some people like were only there for like a month and then like there was like two people and mm. it came down to one at the end and it's like it's just it's just really interesting it's just really really interesting and it like interesting. and he um he goes from like you know clearly he's a he's a fit person because mm. he can like do this and he loves parkour 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 so he'll like flip off buildings and shit nice. Fuck, yeah. but also like right. he's been cycling like every day for like a year yeah. So like he's ripped, he's absolutely oh, be, yeah. ripped, and then Shredded. and it's weird because like they go through like you know oh we we're leaving the UK oh we're in France and then like you know I don't know Germany or mm. or like Holland and we're seeing like all these lovely bits and it's like oh you know now we're starting to move a little further afield and then like they go through Kazakhstan yeah and and then the landscape changes and then they're in like just like I don't know Gog's unformed backup plan <laughs> of, of a land yeah like it's just like dust and yeah. barren and then they came down into India and it all changes again and like yeah. it was wow. really hard you, you if you haven't already yeah. you should watch Race Across the World yeah that is UK to Singapore oh, oh there we go oh, okay. first series what's yeah. the first series of that not on bike I imagine no didn't take him a year it's it's everything except a plane yeah you have to do it for the co- cost of a rail fare uh, plane fare sorry uh, oh yes total yeah, yeah. total Can't and that more. includes your food and drink and all that Whoa! It's good. It's good. It's a good show. Mm. Everyone's talking about it. There's three different series of it. And the first series is that. So it's the UK to Singapore. It's the UK to Singapore. Second series is. Don't know. Sure. I haven't watched it yet. Third series was across Canada. Yes. Now you're talking about that. I'm talking. Another about it. I've seen. Our, I've seen that. Another one of our friends is talking about that. Yeah. My parents are talking about that. Yeah. Wow. Apparently, it's all the, the cool uh, people. It's, what, it's what, tour de force. That's what everyone's getting. What everyone's saying. Yeah. yeah. Second series, I don't know, but I will be watching it soon. Mm. So I don't believe Canada exists. Oh, so. that's an interesting <laughs> thing to say. Yeah. So that's probably a conspiracy. That yeah. One. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking to you now because what you just said is really fucking boring. Uh, power. There you go. Gotcha. That's, that's Got it. Power. Just, I'm staring. You're staring. I'm staring. You're I want to give. It doesn't come across on audio though. That's anything. Well, enough of. This truth talking. I think we Red need. Pilling. I think we need truth speak. I think we need to get the hell out of this room because it's getting quite it warm really in here. Warm in yeah, warm in here. And yeah. we're at the start of summer, so this is going to be delightful. We're fucked. It's yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. Summer. Um, what do we think? One love or hate? Um, I mean, I'm really annoyed with the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, the hates were pretty egregious. They were quite potent this week. Yeah. And I, I'm feeling sticky now after talking about being oh, a sticky Oh, yeah. And sticky also, we are, we are actually sticky yes. right now. Sweat like, sticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I'm, I'm going to go with hate. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to like, um, I'm going to, um, as soon as we stop recording, I'm going to throw that window open. We're going to kick the door open. It's going to be like an airlock venting. Uh, it's gonna, like, <laughs> we're going to feel great in about a minute. Yeah. So minute. maybe we should. We're going to feel so good after we get off this fucking podcast. Yeah. yeah. As a, and all the listeners will feel so much better when yeah. we stop oh, talking. Yeah, it really will. But when will that happen? Who knows? I mean, maybe one of us will just keep almost filibustering onwards and onwards and we'll never get a chance to leave. And there's no way we can control that. There's just nothing we can do about it. Hey, hey man, shut up. <laughs>